All right. Um, we'll try this permeation of internet and see if this works. I feel like I am uh, some kind of like doctor or scientist. You, you ever see I Am Legend, uh, that Will Smith zombie movie, uh, where Will Smith is basically trying to find a cure to the zombie apocalypse, and he is just like, you know, permeation number 722, 723, 724. Like, he's just trial and erroring his way to find a cure for zombies. That That's how I kind of feel. I kind of feel like that right now. Okay, uh, so let's try this permeation. This will probably be permeation number 27. Uh, <laughs> see if that's the lucky one. <laughs> permeation number 27. Um, but all right, uh... It's, it's it's holding steady. We had some real issues there. But um, I'm actually going to go get... Before I had all these internet problems, I put on a pot of coffee. Because I don't know why. I just felt like I wanted to drink some coffee while doing this stream. We're going to do a little bit of a tier list today. So uh, I'm going to go get that to that coffee. And then uh, come back down here. And then hopefully the stream will not be like dead by the time I get back down here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw on Shanks again really quick. Uh, Attack on Titan variant Shanks, uh, which, by the way, Attack on Titan music really works for the Red Hair crew. I feel like when we see that scene at Elbaf in the anime, they should just have, they should just go to the Attack on Titan team and just be like, can we just have your sound library? I think it fits Shanks really well. Um, the link, by the way, to um, the cover of that Attack on Titan track is in the description. If you would like to go to their channel, they do some really cool uh, anime OST covers. Uh, All right, there we go. Uh, well, we're holding steady at 720. Ah, man, that was a really nice... That was a really nice two minutes when I went upstairs to make a pot of coffee. And, uh, you know, when I was walking upstairs, I was like, ah, maybe the Internet's been fixed. Maybe today we'll have a good stream. Maybe, maybe today we'll have... Maybe that'll be the solution to all of the Internet woes. And I, I had my nice cup of coffee, and I'm like, oh, that tastes good. And I'm going to walk back downstairs now, and the Internet's going to be good to go. And I walk downstairs, and it's like 3,000 drop frames, and I'm like, ah, okay. Well, you know what? It was a good idea. It was a good idea. You know what I mean? At least you could be optimism is, optimism is like 99% how you get through the world. You know what I mean? If things aren't going the way that you want them to go, just, just, imagine they are and that'll get you to where you need to be <laughs> no like there you go <laughs> mm. all right well i mean we're here for right now i mean it's not crashing anymore so probably as soon as i start the actual content of the stream it will begin again but until we get to that point might as well try to get some material in right okay then uh, well, today, yes, we are going to be doing a little bit of a tier list video. Now, I'm going to have to change the screen here to the tier list. And, um, yeah, that's probably going to cause everything to crash and burn. But I'm going to have to do that because otherwise you won't be able to see the rankings. So I'm just going to move this over here. <laughs> and then it's like I'm diffusing a damn time bomb. All right. And then I'm going to move this over to scene here. And then I'm going to push this button. All right. You still with us? You still there? Everybody's still okay? Is everybody still good? Is everybody still strapped into your computer chairs? Everybody still good? Anybody get knocked off the planet? Everybody still all right? Everybody good? <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a different kind of tier list ranking. Um to clarify exactly how we're going to be doing this today, we are not, even though we have all of the Jolly Rogers in front of us right here, I don't want you to all think that the only thing that I am ranking is uh, the Jolly Roger design, because that is not the only thing we are doing. 
Uh, if you look to Barry, if you look down to the left-hand side of the screen there, you can see Barry, and Barry is listing off all the different criteria. We, we're essentially, I couldn't find a snappy kind of video title to explain what I'm doing, but the best way for me to describe what I'm doing is I'm ranking all of the pirate crews in One Piece based off of the coolness factor from their Jolly Roger name of their crew, ship name and design, and crew design. It it doesn't really work too well as a quick, snappy, you know, YouTube title, but that is what we are doing today. All right, that is what we are doing today. And I felt like because a lot of people are going to be joining the stream and they're going to be asking, you know, like, what, what are you ranking these based off of? What are you ranking these based off of? I decided just to have Barry off to the side list the criteria that we are going to be using today. Okay, so let's go through those criteria really quick, and then we'll get to the rankings here. So the first criteria is the Jolly Roger design. You're a pirate crew. I mean, like, you're sigil. You're the thing that everybody's going to see. The thing that is supposed to, for one thing, indicate the fact that you are a pirate, and second, is supposed to, you know, uh, issue a degree of fear into your enemies. It's, it's your trademark. It's like with a business today, and... Being a pirate is basically running a business, okay? It is your trademark. It is, it's like with Nike shoes. They have the little swoosh. McDonald's has the golden arches. Burger King just, just has a burger. But whatever, Wendy's has the, the red-haired girl. You, you know what I mean? Right. So being a pirate, you have a symbol. You have marketing, okay? And so that symbol better be unique. It better be distinct. It better be fucking cool, all right? That is the whole point of being a pirate, all right? So, and it has to be different from all the other pirate sigils, because there's so many pirates in the One Piece world. Yours better be unique, all right? So we're going to be ranking it based off of, of a Jolly Roger design. Next up is the name of your crew, all right? The name of a crew, once again, I mean, like, okay, so you got the Golden Arches, but the name of the restaurant is McDonald's. It just works, okay? You know what I mean? So the name of the crew should have some degree of menace to it. And you know what? This is where a lot of these crews, the Supernova crews especially, are going to fall off. Because I'm telling you straight up, if there is a crew that just has the name of the captain as their freaking crew name, I'm, I'm deducting a minus one immediately. They're, they're not getting S tier, I'll tell you that much. They're getting an immediate minus one. So a lot of these Supernova crews have this, and I think it might be because Oda did not really plan on the Supernovas existing until, like, shortly before they were introduced. So I don't think Oda really sat down and really thought about a lot of their uh, their crew names. So when it comes to um, the Supernovas, you got the Bonnie Pirates, led by Jewelry Bonnie. You have the Drake Pirates, led by Diaz Drake. You have the Hawkins Pirates, <laughs> led by Basil Hawkins. And, um, you know, I'll look at it, you know, case by case basis. Maybe there's some case where the name of the captain does indicate that. But, like, imagine if the Straw Hat crew were just called the Luffy Pirates. Imagine if the Whitebeard crew was called the Edward Pirates or, you know, or the Newgate Pirates. It's just, it doesn't have as much of a degree as Menace, and it's not that creative when it comes to designing your pirate crew, all right? It's just like, ah, let's just call them the the Smith Pirates, because my name's John Smith, or whatever, let's just go, you know, that's not creative at all, hmm, yep, so, uh, next up, we have the, the ship name and design, uh, this is pretty self-explanatory, I'm not gonna go too into this, does the ship look cool, does the ship aesthetic work with the crew, um, does the name of the ship work, we don't know the names of every single one of these ships, so, um, you know, and I, I have the wiki up, so we'll, you know, pull it up if I can't remember anything. Some, some of them we don't know, but I decided to put it on there as a criteria. Uh, then we have the crew design, okay? And so the crew design is kind of a, it, it's not a category I'm going to be judging too harshly. It's just basically like, you know how, like, kids' crew has a whole heavy metal rocker kind of aesthetic and everybody on his crew is like, a head with that aesthetic. Like, they all have names like DJ or Gig or Punk or Mosh, you know? Like, they all have really cool, like, 1980s, like, heavy metal rocker names. That's what I'm talking about in terms of aesthetic. Um, but all of these things are going to kind of coalesce together, and we're going to have to figure this out as, as we go. Uh, there's going to be exceptions to every rule, but for the most part, these are the rules. All right, all right. 
So with that being said, um, I, I picked mainly uh, no no filler pirates on here. I had to debate between that because there's just so many pirate crews in One Piece already. Maybe we'll do this again with a uh, filler roster, possibly. But for right now, we're gonna do canon stuff. Um, I, at the very end, I, I this is like a last minute addition. I added the Revolutionary Army as like a bonus. I know they're not really pirates, but I mean, in the eyes of the world government, they might as well be. But you know what I mean? I did I didn't include like the Marine sigil or the world government sigil or anything like that on here. Just kind of strictly pirate crews. Okay. Well, with that being said, let's begin. Uh, the tiers are are pretty obvious. I'm not going to go through each of the tiers. S tier, I'm going to try to limit to only like maybe one or two people. And then there's the F tier, and then the double F tier, the super fail tier. And, and I don't know if anyone will get that bad, but we'll see. All right. So First up, we have Alvita's pirate crew. This is actually interesting because it, it, these are alphabetical um, all the way up until the Revolutionary Army at the end. But these are alphabetical, and Alvita just happened to be the very first pirate that Luffy encountered on his journey, and her name starts with the letter A. So right away, she's getting a minus one because she's just the Alvita pirates. That's literally all they're called, the Alvita pirates. Um, her Jolly Roger is a... Side view skull, so that's something. I mean, almost all the other ones are kind of a front-facing skull. There's not as many Jolly Rogers that have that different perspective of the skull, which is not bad. It's it's different enough from a lot of the other. Like, you see all the other Jolly Rogers on here. Like, most of them are a front-facing skull. Um, this one's to the side, so that's, that's a unique factor there. And it adds the little heart. Um, this was actually a tactic that was used a lot by real-life pirates. They would have a black flag with uh, blood or, like, a red ink on there. It's very striking with the red on the black background. So, you j I mean, it's honestly a pretty simple flag, uh, but I think it works. Um, Alvita's ship is called the um, uh, Miss Love Duck. And it's a ship that has a swan. The, the motif of her whole ship is like the ugly duckling and the beautiful swan kind of story. That's kind of the aesthetic that Oda goes with Alvita. Uh, Alvita, you know, starts out as a very large woman that most people in the One Piece world consider very unattractive. She eats the slip slip fruit and she becomes very slim and becomes an idea that's like most, most men find very attractive in the One Piece world. So it's like the story of like the ugly duckling. And that's like the Miss Love Duck is, is there. Um... So, I gotta be honest with you, the minus one because of the name, uh, her, okay, her crew doesn't really look anything, they're just generic pirates through and through, there's really no design in terms of that, um, they just look like generic pirates, I, I always remember in the four kids dub of One Piece, they have Alvita talking very, cause she was like the first pirate in the story, uh, aside from Luffy, obviously, so, she talks in a very like, oh, come on, me hearties, shiver me timbers, <laughs> you know, like, because it's like the first episode, it's like the first couple episodes of One Piece, and you have to be super pirate with your pirate anime and four kids. Um, I honestly don't hate it, but I'm going to give Alvita a solid D right now. I, I think, I think that's not, I think there's a lot more better ones we're going to get. Um, C is kind of like straight up in the center, and I don't feel like it's it deserves of that. I feel like it's slightly below average. It doesn't deserve an F. It doesn't deserve a super F. But I, I think the only thing that really saves it is how it's a slightly different kind of design of the skull and the heart. It's very striking. You see this at a distance. You kind of know what you're about. Um, and then the Miss Love Duck is actually kind of a cool design ship. Um, it has a nice figurehead, and it has a design with that. And I think the whole ship is colored pink as well. Uh, also, side note, uh, I saw the designs uh, for the Miss Love Duck in the Netflix live action. So Alvita's going to appear in that. We've already gotten the casting for Alvita. I forget her name, uh, the actress that's going to play her. But uh, the Miss Love Duck, I saw some concept art for that. And it looks pretty good. looks pretty good. All right, next up, we have the... Uh, okay, so it's the Fishman Pirates... But sometimes they're referred to as the Arlong Pirates, I think, just because Arlong is their captain. Now, this, this is a badass Jolly Roger right here. I mean, this, this is fucking cool. Arlong knew some shit about branding. Hold on a second. I have a, uh, I, I, I might do this with a couple of them. I actually have the, um, a couple years ago, I made a video on all the Jolly Rogers, so I have a folder with all the Jolly Roger stuff on there. So let's see if I can pull that up here and I can add... If it doesn't crash the whole damn thing, I can maybe show you some designs here. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Look at that right there. I mean, that is... That is fucking cool as shit. Like, Arlong was like, all right, so you got the skull... You got the... Not the skull. You got the crossbones in the background. So black and the crossbones indicate right there pirate crew. 
right? Pirate crew through and through. But Arlong is like, no, 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 we're not doing a human skull. And you know what? That makes a lot of sense because Arlong hates humans. Why would he use a human skull? You know what I mean? So he just like, no, I'm going to have my own design. Which, remember, uh, Arlong is not a swordfish. A lot of people think Arlong's a swordfish, me included, for a long time. Uh, be because Arlong has a nose that looks like a, you know, it's, he's a sawtooth shark fishman. I believe that's, that's the name of the species. He's a sawtooth shark. So, I gotta admit, like, I really love this. Um, I, I, man, I, I'm hesitating to even put it in A tier. I kind of want to put this in S, if we're being honest here. Hmm. I mean, he knew what he was doing about. I mean, yeah, he, it's like a cool, edgy water park aesthetic going on, yeah. And and also, it's like the sawtooth, like, it is a shark. Like, you can see the fin of the shark there. It projects a, a, an air of menace. Like, if you saw this, like, if like let's imagine you're in the One Piece world for a moment, right? And you're just hanging out in your little village, and you see this Jolly Roger. You see a ship approaching from the side, and you look through your spyglass, and you see this thing. That's going to be scary. You're going to be, oh, shit, these guys are here to plunder and murder. Like, okay. Now, but that's not the only thing we're looking at here. We have to look at the other things here, okay? So the Fishman Pirates are the name of the crew, so you don't get it. They're not the Arlong Pirates. I know that's a little bit confusing sometimes. I'm pretty sure the canonical name for them are the Fishman Pirates, correct? Correct. Um, so that's fine. They are the Fishman, and they are pirates, so at least you're not just using his name. Now, when it comes to the ship, I don't think... Did Arlong have a flagship? I don't remember him having one. Because Arlong's whole thing was like, I'm just going to set up shop in the east and build Arlong Park and just kind of do my own thing here. Like, Arlong's whole thing was like big fish in a small pond kind of deal. You know what I mean? Um. Yeah. Yeah, because later on we're going to get Horty's uh, crew, which is the new Fishman Pirates. So it doesn't make any sense to have the new Fishman Pirates if, yeah, the canonical name of Arlong's crew is the Fishman Pirates. Yes. Um, he is the ship. I mean, yeah, he kind of is. He's the ship. They're all the ship. They're Fishman. They don't need, like, there was even a scene in Arlong Park where they took out a whole marine vessel. They killed Commodore Pudding Pudding. And they didn't even need they didn't even need a ship to do it. Hachi just went out and moved some pillars around and they got sucked into a maelstrom and died. That was it. Mm. Oh, they have Momu, right? They had Momu. That even actually adds more. Okay, so not only Okay, so they don't have a ship necessarily, but okay, when I say ship name, that doesn't necessarily mean like like if they don't have a ship, but they have a giant sea cow as like their pet. That's badass, dude. That's badass. That's better than a ship. You don't need a ship. They don't, it's not like they don't have a ship because they're so poor they can't afford one, right? It's because they're so badass they don't need one. They don't need a ship. They're fishmen. They are the ship, and they have a giant sea cow when they really need some heavy muscle to, like, knock things over. You know what I mean? He had a ship when he first showed up. Yes! You are correct. You are correct. When they first showed up at Kokoyashi, I think, oh, you know what? They did. I remember that now. I don't think the ship was all that unique, and we only saw it in, like, one scene. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, hold on a moment. Let me pull up the video I made on Arlong really quick. I know we're only on the second, but we have to do this. We have to go through this really, really carefully here. Okay, Arlong. I made an Arlong video a couple years ago. All right. I think there might be a scene in here where Arlong first arrived at Kokoyashi. Yes, this one right here. Uh, okay, you don't see the ship in that one, but it's it's kind of in that flashback. Arlong's ship. Do I have any images of Arlong's ship on here? I don't. I don't think I have that particular scene on here. But I, I do remember the flashback, now that you mention it. Because I think this scene right here... I think this is the Jolly Roger... I think this was the Jolly Roger that was on his ship. Because look at... Even the flagpole... Even the flagpole is badass! Look at that! They even added the flagpole having the spiky sawtooth nose thing. Damn. You know what? I think Arlong's getting an A. Alright, I think Arlong's getting an A. The only thing maybe you could dock points for is, like, maybe the, um... The, the ship is not... Like, 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 okay, he does have a ship technically, but it appeared in one scene. No one remembers the damn thing. I don't think it has a name, even if, he, if it was shown in, like, one scene. So maybe you could dock some points for that. 
But other than that, man, I'm I'm putting I'm putting Arlong in A tier. I'm going A tier for Arlong here. I think he deserves it. Yeah. Um. Oh, it did get a name. It does have a name. You know what? Let's look this up. I want to see. I want to see what Arlong's ship looks like. Hold on a second here. I want to look this up now, because I need to see this. I need to look up Arlong's ship. If it's called the Shark Superb, I mean that's awesome. Arlong ship one piece. I I need to see this. Oh my god, that thing is fucking badass. All right, no fuck it. He's going A tier. Oh my god, I completely forgot about this thing. Oh my god, that is the sickest design for a fucking ship. <laughs> oh man, I was Oh my god, dude. All right, prepare you guys for this one. When you see this, you're just going to look at that. Look at that. Look at that shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> How many sails do you need on a ship, sir? That is that is so ridiculous. How many sails are on this ship? One, two, three, four, five. I am counting six sails on this ship alone. Maybe seven. I don't know if that one way in the back. That is seven sails on this ship. <laughs> Okay, fuck it. This is getting S tier. Okay, he has a badass Jolly Roger, okay? The name of the crew is the Fishman Pirates. Their ship is called the Shark Super Superb, and it looks like this. And also, the aesthetic of the crew, they're all fishmen, and they all, like, have different sea-themed, like, that... Okay, Arlong, you're getting S tier, bro. You're getting S tier for this, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> that is... I completely forgot. Look at the figurehead on that on that son of a bitch. Holy God. They took... You know, it's... Oh, my God. You know what? It's like... He's a sawtooth fish man, so it's like, let's go ahead with it. Let's go with the sawtooth kind of, like, aesthetic. And it is kind of a little over the top, but not crazy over the top. Like, I think it works. Like, it really does. All right. Yeah, that's an S tier. That literally... It literally checks every single box. There's not one box that Barry is saying down here that this crew does not represent. I mean, I'm sorry. And they're, I mean, once again, Arlong is a piece of shit. He, like, killed Belmere and then tortured Nami for, like, you know, over ten years. Like, oh, yeah, I'll give you back your village if you can bring me the money. Oh, you brought me the money? Okay. Oh, look, the money's gone. Sorry. Guess you're gonna have to keep working for me, I suppose. Um, but he's a piece of crap. But, like, in terms of marketing, Arlong knew where it was at, man. Arlong must have measured in marketing and in college, wherever... We're at GBU. Arlong went to GBU next to Bradley. Mm. That looks, yeah, yeah, the jaw. I think it works just enough with the jaw, with the uh, shark aesthetic. They didn't go super overboard with it. Like, when we get to Bartolomeo, because Bartolomeo is coming up here in a second, Bartolomeo went way overboard with the ship design. But Arlong, I think, was just like the, just enough of the shark design. The shark around the perimeter, and then the figurehead being a sawtooth shark, and then that's kind of it. And then the red of the ship is like the red of blood. That that works. Okay. We've been going on and on about Arlong. Okay, what's next? Uh, Baroque Works. Baroque Works. Um, I really love the Baroque Works flag. Um, this really shows the level of elegance that Crocodile really had here. Um, let me pull that up in the in the big screen here. Uh, let me see. Where is it? I have to pull up that Jolly Roger folder again. Jolly Roger. Uh, let's see. Baroque Works. Here we go. All right, Baroque works. Um, yeah, Baroque works flag. It it so Baroque, I believe, is just the definition of Baroque is just like, I think it's like Victorian or maybe even earlier, like Elizabethan era kind of shit. Um, you know, it's kind of like old fashioned to a degree. Actually, let's look that up right now. Let's look up what Baroque even means, just to get a good definition here. I feel like this 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 video is going to require a lot of um, like background research because I'm going to have to do this in real time. Um, okay, so Baroque definition. All right, let's see here. Uh, relating to Ortu or denoting a style of European architecture, music, and art of the 17th and 18th centuries that followed the mannerism and is characterized by ornate detail. In architecture, the period is exemplified by the Palace of Versailles and by the work of Bernini in Italy. Uh, Bernini, I, I don't know how to pronounce that guy's name. Major composers including Vivaldi, Bach, and Handel, Caravaggio and Rubens are important Baroque artists. Okay, and there's some examples of this here. Yeah, so this all fits Crocodile's aesthetic very well. He's a very, very fancy wine swirling. I, I always call him a Bond villain whenever I'm talking about him. Uh, now, so the, I think the uh, I think the name of the crew and the Jolly Roger get a solid pass. This is a unique enough design that shows like that level of grace. 
uh, that you don't get eloquence that you don't get from most pirates. Like we are pirates, but we are eloquent pirates. You know what I mean? We play Bach and we 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 paint art and we build sculptures and blah blah blah. Now uh, the ship name and design. So they had a fleet, um, and I believe Crocodile. Pretty sure Crocodile had his own flagship. So let's look that up here. They had the fleet of the millions and the billions. And I think Crocodile... Yes, Crocodile's ship... Is is this what his ship was? Um, it just says it's a ship used in the Baroque Works organization. It doesn't say that it's his ship. Yeah, so... It, and it's not really a ship that, like... It's called the Full. It's just called Full. Or uh, Downpour in the original, in the Viz translation. Which I think the Downpour probably works better. So this is the, this is the ship. So most of the ships in the Baroque Works fleet, other than the ones used by the named, like, like officer agents and shit, are kind of boring and normal. Like, the billions and millions ships are just, like, regular ships. Um, this is called the Downpour, or the Full, and it's a ship designed to spread the dance powder. Um, but I don't know if this was Crocodile's flagship, but it does have a giant-ass crocodile as the figurehead on, on the ship. So I'm going to go ahead with, like, this is the closest thing to Crocodile's main ship we got. Mm. Um, so there's that. And then the crew design. I mean, I really liked the layout of Baroque works. Like, the officer agents, the, the, the code names. I mean, Crocodile really was a fucking Bond villain with this. I mean, he really did go through everything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give that a pass on the crew design. Um, maybe, maybe the ship on this one is not going to do too well, because even, okay, even if you want to say this is his flagship, uh, all it has going for it is a golden crocodile on it. I mean, the giant smokestack isn't really that cool to me. Um, yeah. You don't have the masterpiece. You don't, you, okay. So you know what? I don't think the cross guild even had a proper Jolly Roger yet. So I don't even think I could have put them on here yet. Because they don't even have an actual flag, I don't think. Does, does the Cross Guild have a flag? I think they were still designing it. I don't think they even have one yet. Mm. But anyway, um, for Baroque Works, uh, I feel like, okay, if this is the layout we're doing so far, I think B is is pretty damn good. I, 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 I Arlong had all the boxes. Baroque Works is, I think, falling short in the ship department. Um... And, uh, oh, but, you know, I love the Jolly Roger, I love the name of the crew, and I love the crew design. I, I love what Crocodile really did with all this, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, we just have the poster, which isn't the actual, like, their Jolly Roger isn't going to be, like, Mihawk, Buggy, and Crocodile, like, on the actual, yeah, yeah. They just had the flyer, yeah. Yeah, and that Golden Crocodile did look a bit derpy, yeah. You know what? Honestly, I kind of want to go A tier on Baroque Works. You know what I mean? Like, I I really want to go A tier on Baroque Works. Uh, I think they fumbled the ball a little bit with the ship design, whereas Arlong had that badass uh, shark themed boat. But I'm going A tier on Baroque Works right now. I'm going A tier. Okay, next up. All right, we got Bartolomeo, Bartolomeo, and the Barto Club. Okay, so this is one example where I'm going to. Uh, when it comes to the name of the crew, they're they're skirting a line here, but they're not just called the Bartolomeo Pirates. They're called the Barto Club. So you're shortening Bartolomeo's name for one thing, and you're adding club to it. So it's not just the Bartolomeo Pirates and then calling it a day. They're not a pirate crew. They're the club because that harkens back to their origins as a small town gang in the East Blue. By the way, fun fact, uh, Bartolomeo controlled, like, I can't remember the exact numbers, but it was stated how many, uh, how many towns Arlong controlled and how many towns Bartolomeo controlled, and Bartolomeo controlled way more, so Bartolomeo was the stronger pirate. <laughs> maybe he took over the island, maybe he took over the towns after Arlong was defeated, maybe, maybe he filled the power vacuum, I don't know, but, uh, I find that really funny. <laughs> um, mm. Now, the Jolly Roger definitely leaves something to be desired here. Like, I don't really understand what they're going with here. Like, th they have Bartolomeo's green hair. I get that. 
Um, the red X might be kind of going along the lines of like, like, let me show you an actual pirate flag. Oh, hold on. Let me show you a real. All right. So this is Edward Lowe's flag. This is the, this is the pirate who is the namesake for law. This is his flag from actual like real life pirates from our world. Okay. That was his flag. So you can see the use of the red there. Um, yeah. The, the idea is like, you know, your, your time is up. The blood, you know, is, is coming for you. Right. So, I don't really get it. It kind of looks like... His, his, his Charlie Roger always looked like a vegetable to me for whatever reason. I don't know. Just because it looks like a deformed carrot. I don't know. Because it has the green on top. And then I know it's red, but it's kind of orange. It's not complete. It's not like super scarlet red. It's kind of like a very... It's like an orange reddish mixture. I don't know what you... What would you call the color on his, his Jolly Roger? What would you refer to that color as? Hmm. Um... Yeah, it's... Oh, it's Luffy's Scar. Is that what it's supposed to be? <laughs> like, the X is Luffy's Scar? Is that what it's intended to be? O okay. I... All right. Yeah, I guess... I mean, like, the theme of this crew is is definitely Straw Hat. See, I'm honestly gonna dock Bartolomeo points, I think, because the whole premise of his crew is he's a fanboy of another crew. And I feel like... You're basically just like, I love the Straw Hats so much, the whole point of my crew is going to be Straw Hats. And I feel like something is lost there because you're not, you're not being creative on your own. You're just kind of like, like, I don't know, copyright infringement in the One Piece world. I honestly think Luffy might have a case against Bartolomeo. He literally plastered Luffy's face on the figurehead of his ship without any any like you know luffy did not agree to that or any kind of thing like just plastered luffy's face on the figurehead of his ship um so yeah i i, I don't know i mean like cuz that's like really like you know mm. yeah um also okay so the name of the ship oh my god bartolomeo's ship is oh lord <laughs> I don't know. I've always had mixed feelings on Bartolomeo's on the going. Just the name of Bartolomeo's ship. The going Luffy Senpai. <laughs> like, oh my god. Oh my god, I gotta show you this shit. Hold on. This is fucking great. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta open a thing. Alright, alright. Get this all set up here. Get this all... Okay, okay, here we go. Whoa, that, oh, well, that was, that was warped a little bit there. Whoa, that looked trippy. All right, hold on, let me do a thing here. So they did a thing with Wikipedia lately where whenever I used to download a picture off Wikipedia, it used to be in JPEG format or PNG format, which makes it super easy to just download the picture and then just put it in, like, a, like just edit in a video. Like, I could just go on the wiki, get an image of, like, Luffy, and then just put it in a editing software. But now... I don't know why they did this, but for like the last year, whenever you download a picture, an image file off of a Wikipedia page um, or a wiki page, it's always a dot uh, WEBP image. And I always have to convert it before I can do anything with it. So that's kind of irritating. But here is the going Luffy senpai. This is Bartolomeo's The Barto Club's ship. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. This is oh my god. All right. I'm trying I'm trying to think of a good parallel to this. Like Okay, imagine you really like like um I don't know. Like imagine you really like a particular series. Like let's say you really like Harry Potter, right? And then you buy a house and then you literally turn your entire house like just everything in your house is Harry Potter. It would be a little bit obnoxious after a while. Like, everything has to be Harry Potter themed. And, and, and I kind of get that with Bartolomeo, where it's like, everything has to be Straw Hat themed, to the point where it's way over the top. <laughs> S-tier, S-tier, S-tier. I am not giving this an S-tier. I am sorry. I, I can't give it an S-tier. See, my whole house is not One Piece themed, though. That's the difference. That's like if I designed... That's not like if I bought a house. That's like if I built a house designed like the Thousand Sunny. And everything in my house, everything down to like the coffee mugs in the house had to be One Piece themed. That'd be a little bit over the top with that. That's a little overkill, you know what I mean? 
I like how it has Nami's trees. Uh, Chopper's in the back, if you've ever seen the back of it. Oh, yeah, there's the back of the ship. I got to show you the back of the ship. The back is, is funny because the back doesn't get shown that much, but it's it's hilarious. Oh, man, that gets converted. Oh, man, that gets warped, too. Ah, oh, damn it. All right. <sighs> got to go into paint. Save file as a JPEG. Go. All right. Here we go. So this is the back of the ship. Here's the back of the ship. <laughs> I've always wanted to know what the, the shipwright, the dude that built this thing, the dude that built this monstrosity, how much money did Bartolomeo... Okay, Bartolomeo did not... He threatened the dude. He gave the blueprints to this dude, and he's like, I need you to build me this ship. And he's like, this is so stupid. I am not building you this ship. And then Bartolomeo threatened to kill him and his entire family. And it's like, you're building the ship to these specifications. I don't care if it's not seaworthy. You are building this ship. All right? <laughs> oh, my God. All right, they are getting a C tier. And that is my final offer on this. All right, like the the Jolly Roger design is I, I don't know. The name of the crew is unique enough. I'll give it that much. It escapes that. The ship name is causing me so much conf conf conflict. Oh, but also when you get to the crew design, though, here's the thing. The Jolly Roger is based off of the Straw Hats because it has Luffy's X. The name of the crew is is their own thing, the Bartow Club. The ship design is all about the Straw Hats. But then when you get to the actual crew design, it's not like they're dressing like the Straw Hats. It's not like Bartolomeo wears a Straw Hat. He would feel unworthy. Like, I am unworthy to wear the Holy Straw Hat, Luffy Senpai. You know? So it's not like they're designed. They don't dress like the Straw Hats do. You know? Yeah. I'm going to go I'm gonna go C on this. I feel comfortable putting him in C. I'm going C. Yeah, we'll, we'll go C. All right, there we go. All right, next up, we got um, the Beast Pirates. Oh, this is a good one. Beast Pirates, we got a lot of good shit with this one. All right, so first of all, got to thank Kaido for not just calling them the Kaido Pirates. Out of all of the Emperors, I feel the one that might have named their crew just after their name would have been Kaido. I feel like Kaido is the one that, like, I don't care. I'm just going to, the Kaido Pirates or whatever. So I'm so glad he didn't do that. So we got the Beast Pirates. All right. So, um... The, the Jolly Roger is really cool. Um, question, uh, what are the giant, what are those bars behind it? What are those supposed to be? So you got the crossbones. You got the, the double layer crossbones. So you got the, um, the uh, one, two, three, four. You got the six crossbones. Wait, no, eight. You got eight crossbones back there. And then you got the skull with the horns, which fits perfectly. But what are those, what are those giant like curved things? In the background, the not the horns, behind the horns. Ears? Yeah, what are those things supposed to be? I never I never understood what those things are supposed to be. Um This is better than Baroque works. Um well let's let's look through this. It looks like a buffalo skull hair, I guess. It's always confused me. I feel like you could remove those two big blocks in the background that looked like those big curved um they look like um oh man i don't even know they look like giant commas <laughs> just giant commas or whatever I, I i guess it's supposed to be hair i guess but it's just weird oh eight oh eight in well no it could be eight in kanji but what does that mean eight in kanji because the whole point they're the hundred beast pirates or the beast pirates but what does eight have to do with any of it Onigashima's general shape? You don't, yeah, no, but you, you just need the skull and the horns for that. You know? It's probably a samurai hat. That does not look like a Kasa hat. That is not a good design for a Kasa hat. Could be, yeah, I'm thinking it could have been the design. You know what I honestly thought, first of all? I thought it was, it, it was a 1 because they're the 100 Beast Pirates, but then it would be 101. You could kind of see it, but they're curved. You know what I mean? Sails, I guess? I just I just feel like... I feel like they had a perfect design if you just take away those bars. If you just, just the skull, the horns, and the crossbones. Perfect. You have a perfect design if you just leave it at that, okay? But then they added those on, and I think that that drops it a bit because it's just weird. It's just confusing. Um, they also have, um, there's a belt buckle on here of the Beast Pirates. Let me, let me pull that up here, like the design we have on that. Uh, do I have it in here? 
I might not have it in here. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look around for it if it's not in this one particular uh, file. But um, it's it's the same thing. It's just on a belt buckle. Oh, it's right here. You can see it down there on the actual uh, tier list. Yeah, it's just a sale. Well, well, okay. This is the problem. We are debating what this is. It's it's okay. The the skull is obviously Kaido's skull. The horns are obviously Kaido's horns. Like that stuff is obvious. We don't have to question that. But right now I'm getting tusks, I'm getting pigtails, I'm getting sails, I'm getting hair, I'm getting kanji. It's that's the point. It's fucking confusing, all right? So I'm I'm going to I'm going to dock a point for that. Sorry. Name of the crew works. 100 Beast Pirates, sometimes just shortened to Beast Pirates. That is fine. I'm okay with that. The ship name and design. Do we have Kaido's main ship? I think Kaido I think Kaido is the only emperor that we do not know a flagship for. Ooh, that's going to dock him some points. Hold on, I'm going to look this up. Kaido flagship. Kaido flagship. What do we got? What do we got? No, I don't. Did Kaido just never have a ship? <laughs> he did have a ship because he went to... He went to... um. Marine Ford in a ship, but we never saw that ship. We have Jack's ship, which is called the Mammoth, and we have Queen's ship that has the Brachiosaur as a figurehead. So we have Jack's and we have Queen's. The main ship is Onigashima, right, but like... <laughs> he is the ship. Right, but he's not just... He's not lifting up the ship all the time. He's not lifting up Onigashima to go sail around. It, okay, if he did that normally, if, if that was, like, canon, what he normally did, whenever Kaido went out pillaging, he literally lifted up the whole goddamn island and moved it wherever he needed it to be, that would be dope. But that's not what he did. He moved the island for the first time when he was at when he was doing uh, the, the plan, the... Um, the uh, uh, fire festival plan that he he initiated, right? That's not like what he did all the time. That would be so damn cool, though, if if Kaido like whenever Kaido comes to town, he just drops an island on whoever is stupid enough to be in his path. <laughs> oh, yeah, but that but that's not what happened. Onigashima was not the ship. He he literally he moved it for the first time when they were at Wano. So you can't count that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, they do have a ship, but we've never seen it. King has a ship, too. It might have been King's ship that they took to Marineford. But, yeah. Um, are those barbells on the flag? I have no idea! That's the thing! This is what I've always been confused by. I have no idea what these things are supposed to be. M for monster. I, I don't know. That seems like a weird thing to put on a flag. Um... He don't need no ship. He's a literal dragon. Yeah, but the whole point of a ship is to, like, bring people on the ship. I mean, like, we've never seen... I mean, I guess, like, come on, guys! Come on, get on the dragon, Kaido! Let's ride! I mean, maybe? Um, the crew design is dope. I mean, the smile users kind of just go with that. They have the whole ancient zone motif. Um, they have, you know, King, Queen, Jack. They have the Flying Six. They have the gifters, the headliners, the smiles, the pleasures, the, the waiters... The layout of the design gets a pass for me. I mean, the crew design works so well, all right? So the crew design is good. Ship is weird. Name of the crew is fine. And the Jolly Roger is slightly confusing. Um, oh, boy. I, I got to be honest with you what this feels like to me. I, I got to be straight up what this feels to me. This feels like a solid B tier to me. I know. I know people are going to get mad about that because it's a Yonko, but, like, I got to I gotta go with my gut on this one. I feel like if you would have just removed those things from the damn Jolly Roger, and if maybe Kaido had to... Actually, if you just took those things off the Jolly Roger, I feel like I would have just bumped it up for A just for that. That bugs me. It just seems like too... Like, the whole point of a design is, like, to be, like, you know, usually just, like, this is what you are. Try to, like, keep it as simple as possible. You don't want something to be overly complicated, and that's just... There's no purpose for those things to be there. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, and then, and then the lack of a ship is just weird. It's just, he's the only one. Shanks has the Red Force. Whitebeard has the Moby Dick. Big Mom has the Queen Mama Shanter. Straw Hats have the Thousand Sunny. Buggy has the ship for the Cross Guild. He also had the Big Top. Buggy just had his own ship before that anyway. And then, um, oh, what, are the, what is the other Yonko? Um, 
Uh, no, I went through all. Oh, Blackbeard. Blackbeard has the saber of Zebek, so he has he has a ship too. Like literally, Kaido's the only one. Hmm. It's the sides of a samurai helmet. I don't know. I it, like uh, people suggested ten different things that could all be the same thing. Um. You know what? It, it does. It does get a really cool design for that. For the for the crew. I mean, the crew. The crew really does go a long way with this. I will give you that. Because they really go crazy with the crew. All right, you know what? I'll bump it up to A. Because that crew design, I mean, they go all in with the beast the beast motif. They they have the smiles. I do love the hierarchical structure of it. I, I do love what Kaido made with that. Um, that. That is fun. That is good. All right. I'll, I'll leave it there as an A. Tory gate. See, if it was a Tory gate, it would have to have a bar on top of it. It's not, it's not a Tory gate if it doesn't have a bar on top of it. Oh, man. The waterfall to Wano? Like, all of these make perfect sense, but none of them are obvious is the problem. All right, so moving on. We got we got Kaido as, a, as an A. I moved him up to A. I think that's fair. All right, maybe if... Okay. Moving on. We're now on the beautiful pirates. The B-E-A beautiful pirates. And uh, they are Cavendish's crew. I guess Hakuba's crew as well. Um, so the design of the beautiful pirates, uh, the Jolly Roger design. Okay, so it's Farul, uh, Farul, who is the, uh, F-A-R-U-L, who is the horse, uh, who's Cavendish's horse. And so Cavendish's horse is awesome. I don't care what anybody says, that horse is awesome. Hope he survives the rest of One Piece. Hope Farul becomes king of the pirates, honestly. Th that horse is awesome. So, um, the horse is cool, and it has the, like, the, kind of like the Three Musketeers kind of hat. And it also has the, um, so, um, Durandal is the name of Cavendish's sword, which is also, in, it's the sword that Roland used in the, the Song of Roland, which is like a famous uh, French epic poem. I think it's like the oldest French, I think it's the oldest work of literature in France, is, is the Song of Roland. Um, so you got, you got some connections there. You got Three Musketeers design. The name of the crew, he, they don't just call them the Cavendish Pirates. They're the Beautiful Pirates, which is a little arrogant, I got to admit. But that's kind of Cavendish's whole thing. You know what I mean? Cavendish's whole thing is he's an arrogant, <laughs> he's an arrogant, narcissistic. He's just like, I am beautiful. You know what I mean? That's kind of his whole thing. So he's owning it, if nothing else. Um, ship name and design. Um, his ship, he does have one. It does have a name. Let me look that up here. A second. All right, Cavendish. Let's see what's Cavendish's ship and all about here. Uh, his ship is... Um, oh, yeah, that's right. It has this really long on day. Oh, man, that is an epic ship. I don't care what anybody says. That ship is fucking awesome. I, okay. The ship is literally called Sleeping White Horse of the Forest. That is literally the full name of the ship is sleeping white horse of the forest. Look at that. Look at that. Now listen, I don't I don't give a shit what you say. That that is cool. All right, like that does that ship not scream Cavendish? That is literally Cavendish. Look at that. That works. You got the giant horse. You got the cool swirls. You got once again a lot of sails. Um, the Jolly Roger, beautiful pirates. Look at the little, look at the little tassel things. He's got little tassels on the sails. I don't know, man. I like it. I like it. It's unique too. It's like it's not like he's just taking designs from the Straw Hats like Bartolomeo did. It's like he's like I'm, I'm going all in on this. I'm going all in on in on this. You know what I mean? The sassiness of this design is beautiful. The sassiness of this. It just screams Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> oh my god, sleeping white horse of the forest. And and once again, we're not ranking these off of um we're not ranking them off of like fear that they impose. You know what I mean? We're, we're that's not one of the criteria. It's taking a design, making a pirate ship, making your own, you know, a, a unique Jolly Roger, a unique name for the crew, the, the nice design of your crew, you know, the, the crew's aesthetic, the name of the ship, the design of the ship. That's what we're looking at today. And this is pretty goddamn unique, I gotta tell you.
It's winged, too. Yeah. I mean, come on. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that. The little curves off to the side are wings. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. See, this is why I wanted to put the Beast Pirates in freaking, in, in, in freaking S tier. Not, uh, not Beast Pirates. I want to put the Beast Pirates in B tier, honestly. Oh, my God. All right, do you want me to tell you what I want to do? I want to do this. I want to move Kaido's crew down and move this up. That's that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Honestly, I want to do this, looking at it. Honestly, Cavendish. <laughs> oh, man. I told myself going into this, I'm going to be a brutal ranker when it comes to this shit. I am not... Mmm. Ah, uh, good move. Don't move, Kaido. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, all right. Oh, man. I, this is hard. I, you know what, Cavendish? I don't give a shit. Cavendish, you won me over. You've won my heart, Cavendish. I don't care. You know what I mean? Cavendish, if Cavendish was real, Cavendish would like, I want to see Cav, I, never, Every now and then, I like to imagine if Straw Hats and, like, One Piece characters were real and what they would respond to. Right now, I want to see Cavendish's legitimate response to this shit. Like, you don't know how much I would love that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, I want... Like, I want Oda to see this stream, and I want Oda to draw one panel of One Piece with Cavendish reacting to this, and I want to see his reaction so bad to this. <laughs> how How is it too much? Okay, look, we put Arlong in there, okay? So Arlong has the cool Jolly Roger, awesome name, ship design was on point, crew design was on point. Cavendish has all of that too! I mean, like, yeah... The, the Jolly Roger is not quite as cool as Arlong, but I don't know if I should dock a point just for that, all right? Mm. <laughs> the, the cover design is not S. I mean, I like it, though. I like that it's the horse. It's unique. You got the horse. You got the Three Musketeers hat. You got the, the rapiers off to the side. That, that's unique. It's a different kind of design. You can't say it's boring. You can't say, oh, this is so average. You know what I mean? No, it's a unique design, dude. It's a unique design. It doesn't strike terror in your mind like Arlong does. But like I said, we're not ranking it based off of the, the terror it imposes. You know? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think Cavendish's reaction to this would just be like, well, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Um, I'm moving on. I'm leaving it at S tier. I agree with that. I don't care. I don't care. That that ship design won me over. All right. He went full on with that. I agree. I don't care. All right. What's going on? It's cooler with the color. Yeah, you also have to understand there's a color design too. Oh, man. Nah. Nah. What about his crew? Cavendish's crew are all designed, they all have the same aesthetic. They all fall in line. Um, I think from what we've seen of them, yeah, they have a horse. They have a horse on their damn crew. Um, beautiful pirates. Uh, Suriman is a member of that. Oh my god, they're all dressed. If you look at Cavendish's crew, they are literally all dressed like, like they're like wearing powdered wigs and shit. They are full on with that aesthetic. Hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. Look at this. Look at this. I gotta show you Cavendish's crew here. Hold on, I gotta I gotta screen cap that. Hold on. Let me show you Cavendish's crew here. Look at Cavendish's crew. Look at Cavendish's crew. Now, aside from Sudeman, who just joined, look at all the other members of Cavendish's crew. They are following this theme perfectly. This is this is a perfect theme. They all have the old Victorian powdered wigs. They have uh, the fucking... Not even Victorian. This is, like, even earlier than that. This is, like, 17th century, 18th century powdered wigs. They got the mustache. Look at that one dude with the curly mustache. <laughs> they are following this theme to a T. 
All right, I don't care. Maybe you don't like the theme. Maybe the theme is too, like, okay, this does not, this is not my kind of aesthetic. I don't care. They follow this theme to a T, all right? <laughs> okay, uh, that S tier, I don't give a shit, S tier. They deserve it, all right? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, moving on. Moving on, moving on. This is going in interesting places today. Okay, what's up next? Ooh, Bellamy's crew, all right. So, um, Bellamy, I think, is just called the Bellamy Pirates, so they're going to get a dock point for that. Let's see, yeah, Bellamy Pirates. But, I have to say, the point they lose for the name of the crew is made up with the Jolly Roger. This is a striking Jolly Roger. This is unique as shit. You see this coming at you, you know, you know, this, okay, it's not even a, a, a skull, it is... Kind of the Rolling Stones logo, if we're being honest here. Bellamy's a fan of the Stones, which, you know, you know, Bellamy rolls up and he's like, please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and taste. Was that the Rolling Stones? I don't know. I don't know music. But was that the Rolling Stones? I don't even know if I'm remembering that correctly. It's probably another band and everyone's slapping their heads right now. Um, but it also kind of goes along with them sticking their tongues out, right? And um, they're, they're mocking people. That's what they do. Looks like they're obsessed with classic rock. Yeah, probably. It is. Oh, I got it right. I got it right. I got it right. Okay. I'll be honest with you guys. I haven't listened to a lot of Rolling Stones in my day. Not really a huge... I've, I haven't listened to a couple things, but not a lot, as you could probably tell. Mm. Okay. So, the Jolly Roger gets a pass. The name of the crew, dock a point for that. Ship name and design. Let's look at that. I don't remember Bellamy's crew. I don't remember Bellamy's ship off the cuff here. Bellamy Pirates. Uh, they do have a ship. It's called the New Witch's Tongue. See, so much of this crap was... I, I love the data books and the Viva cards, because otherwise, I, this stuff would have never been revealed. Okay, so this is the Bellamy Pirates ship. Now, obviously, this crew is in league with Doflamingos, so they have the smile, but that's not their Jolly Roger. They didn't just go with the smile. They have their own Jolly Roger, which is an important distinction to make. So they have their own individuality, but they're under, like, a broader banner. You know what I mean? Which is fine. I'm not, I'm not going to deduct points for that. So the ship name is the New Witch's Tongue. I, what is the reference there? Is there a reference to that? I don't see any reference for that on the wiki. <laughs> it's, just, it's called the New Witch's Tongue. Okay. So, um, the ship is kind of lame. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you. All those other ships we've seen up until now, this ship is not doing it for me. Uh, the, the figurehead kind of does something because it's a spring. So it has Bellamy's Devil Fruit ability kind of incorporated. But other than the figurehead... The rest of the ship is generic as fuck. It's just generic ship, so I don't think the ship's really going to get you any points there, Bellamy. Um, the crew design also, uh, Bellamy's crew, there's Bellamy, there's Sarkis. Um, yeah, they just look like a bunch of dudes and, and, and guys and gals. Guys and dolls, we're just a bunch of guys and dolls. You know, it doesn't really look... Um, I'll show you their crew here. Like, um, so here's Bellamy's crew. Like, like there's nobody on the crew. They don't have a consistent theme. Their theme is they're just like, they're just a, a gang that became a pirate crew. That's kind of their theme. Um, they like sunglasses. If you can see here, Sarkis, Lily, uh, Eddie, although Eddie might just wear regular glasses. Uh, and then those two guys down there that are question marked, uh, they both have sunglasses. They, they love, they love, they love sunglasses, I guess. I guess that's their thing there. I, I feel like, I feel like Bellamy, the only thing Bellamy really has going for him at this point is the, is the Jolly Roger. Like, that's the only thing. Everything else kind of falls by the wayside. Um, I'm thinking either D or C. Because Alvita, let's see, Alvita had the nice Jolly Roger, but had the ship. I feel like, I feel like Alvita has an average Jolly Roger, 
and, an, and a good, a pretty okay ship. Bellamy's crew has a great Jolly Roger and a pretty average ship. So really, yeah. Like, if it wasn't for this Jolly Roger, if this Jolly Roger was more generic, this would go in F tier, no question. I think D is good for the Bellamy crew. The only thing that's saving them is their Jolly Roger. Okay. All right, moving on. Big Mom's crew. Okay, we got the Big Mom Pirates. All right. Now, this Jolly Roger is split on me. It is. There is a lot going on here. There is a lot of shit going on here. All right, you got the skull wearing a crown with Big Mom's big lips. You have, I guess, um, it's... I guess one of those things is supposed to be a candy cane. Um, I'm not really sure what the yellow one is and what the... I, I always imagine the blue one is supposed to be like a blue candy cane. That's how I always envisioned it. Um, the, the tree always weirded me out. Like, the tree always seemed like a weird kind of addition. Like, there's just a tree there. I guess it's because she gives life to things because of the soul soul fruit. Um, there is a lot going... This is a busy Jolly Roger. You know what I mean? You also got Big Mom's hair there. Yeah, you got Big Mom's hair in the background there. So you got a skull wearing a crown with big lips. Uh, with her with her lipstick. You got pink hair. You got these two... These three swirl things in the background. And then a tree. And the tree is detailed. The tree has fruit growing on it. Oh, it's not getting an S tier. Don't worry about it. It's definitely not getting an S tier. This does not deserve S tier. I'm sorry. There's just too much going on. Um, oh, the family tree. Okay. Yeah, I guess I get that. That's all right. But that's that's a lot to include on a Jolly Roger, though. That's a lot to include here. Okay. Raise your hand if you think this is too this is too busy. Raise your hand if you think this is too busy. All right. This is all too busy. By the time you read it, you're dead. By the time you understand what you're looking at, you're dead. You know? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, a Jolly Roger truly crafted by a five-year-old. Yeah, no, I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, t t sorry, there's a bit of a lag here. There there's a lag. Yeah, yeah. Too busy. Lot, getting a lot of hand hand waves here. Yeah. Yeah. It's... it's Because Big Mom... The only reason anybody takes this seriously is because she is a Yonko. So she could have any Jolly Roger and back it up. It, it doesn't matter. You know, this could be ten times as busy and it could still inspire terror. But big people are like, oh, what is that? That's a really busy... Oh, God! You know, and then we're just... You're decimated before you can even look at it. Yeah. Um, emulsify. Her ship makes up for the flag. Well, on that front, you kind of got a point. Um, so let's pull that up next. Let's pull up the, um, Queen Mama Shanter, which Shanter, I believe, just is like a song, you know, an aesthetic thing. Not an aesthetic thing, but just like a, a design of the ship. The ship is based off of, like, a song because the ship sings. Okay, so the Queen Mama Shanter. Now, this is a ship. This is a damn ship, all right? So, it's it's busy as well. I mean, there's a lot going on here as well. But it's a cake. It's literally a giant cake that has um, candy canes sticking out of it, wafer cookies sticking out of it. The, the ship is also sentient. It's a ship. It's like, I'm a ship, I'm a ship, I'm a ship, ship, ship. You know, like, so I'm going to add some points for that. You have a literal sentient object as your ship. That's cool. Mm. Um. The, so the the name of the crew, Big Mom Pirates. That's fine. It does. It's not like the Lin Lin Pirates. Or, the name is fine. The ship is great. Um. The crew design. All right. I love the idea of Big Mom's crew being um all family members. The aesthetic of that works really well. Okay. Like you got eighty five something members of the crew. Um. They are all named after food uh, food items. That works really well. Just just the fact they're a family and that's like a pirate crew made of an entire family. That that is cool. So it, the, the crew design is going to get a point there. I'm thinking of um, oh man, see this is tough. See, I you know what? Honestly, I think 
I think Big Mom's crew, I think it deserves to be put in A tier right next to Kaido. Because the reason Kaido's gotten docked points was because there was an issue with the Jolly Roger where there was like, it's a confusing thing. With Big Mom's, it's kind of something similar. Checks all the boxes, but that Jolly Roger is busy. All right? There's a lot of stuff going on there. I'm thinking A. I'm thinking an A tier next to Kaido. I think Kaido and Big Mom being in the same tier, I think works fine. I'm still debating with Kaido, by the way, but yeah. Yeah, the food is their actual name, too. Like, And they have devil fruit powers based on food. But like, Kaido had the same thing, too. Kaido's was the Beast Pirates, and he has a shitload of zones and the smile users. Like, He fits that the Beast Pirate aesthetic. He's a zone. His top three officers are zones. The six Toby Ropo are all zones. The gifters and headliners are all zones. Like, that works. It just works, all right? Yeah. Kaido has no ship that... You know what? I'm dropping Kaido to B. I'm sorry. I, I don't feel comfortable putting Kaido at A. I really don't. I have an issue with that. You know, Kaido... No flagship, which that's a major blow to me. You are an Aunt Yonko, dude. You you deserve to have... Like, don't, don't come to me. Like, Big Mom can literally animate anything she wants, and she still has a flagship. You know what I mean? Everybody still has a flagship. Kaido's going to B. I'm going with my first instinct on this. Okay. Yeah. I'm going B. Big Mom can can rank a little higher, all right? I like their design better than Kaido's. I just do. I'm sorry, Kaido. You're going B tier. I'm locking it in. There it is. All right? Yeah. All right, what's next? Uh, ooh, Blackbeard. Ooh, okay. Now, here's the fun thing about Blackbeard. He has a ship. We know the name of the ship, but I don't think we've actually ever seen it. That's the thing. We've seen similar ships in his fleet I don't think we've ever actually seen his real ship but before I'm getting ahead of myself I'm getting ahead of myself here let me pull up let me pull up the Blackbeard Jolly Roger okay here we go all right this Jolly Roger I don't need to tell you this is an S tier Jolly Roger okay the Jolly Roger does <laughs> muito bueno I mean this is perfect you got the eight Bones in the background, which adds a little bit more. Like, it kind of... You know what I like about Jolly Rogers that have the eight bones as opposed to the uh, the standard just the... the well, I guess, technically speaking, there's only three there because they go across. But you know what I mean? It fills out the flag more because there's not as much empty black space behind it. You know what I mean? Like, so it kind of, like, adds more dimension to the flag. But then also, you see all these three skulls, and it's really simple. You got... Three skulls, one facing left, and then the center, and then the right. And then, I think it works. I think the flag is perfect. You know what I mean? Um, now, the name of the crew, name of the crew is also good. Because, yeah, it might just be a flip on the Whitebeard crew, but Blackbeard crew, I mean, there's a reason why Blackbeard is, like, the most notable pirate in our world. And I, I think a big reason... Why Blackbeard persists to this day. If you go up to somebody and ask them, name a pirate from history. Name a real-life pirate from history. Every single goddamn person that doesn't study history, that's not a history dork like me, is going to say Blackbeard. No, is it, no, one, no, one, no average person on the street is going to be like, oh, Henry Avery. You know, like, every, no, it's like, oh, Edward Lowe, and Bonnie. Like, no, they're going to say Blackbeard. All right, Blackbeard is going to be number one. It's just, there's a reason why. It's a cool-ass name, all right? So that's going to persist. Now, as for the ship, getting to the ship now. I don't think we've ever seen it. It's called the Saber of Zebek, which the name is awesome. Name is cool as shit. But, um, Saber of Zebek. No picture available. We have not seen the Saber of Zebek. Now, I have a picture of Blackbeard's um, generic kind of uh, ship he uses. Let's see here. I've made so many Blackbeard videos over the years. It's not in that one. Uh, I hear that. Okay. These are Blackbeard's generic ships. These are the. Th this is the ships I believe that are. Um, one of these is Shiryu's ship, and one of these is. Lafitte's ship, I think. 
uh, the second and fifth ships of the crew. Um, so they're the three logs basically tied together, like these giant logs, and then they have the ship in them. Um, so I'm imagining the Saber of Zebek looks similar to this design. At least we have something to go off of as opposed to Kaido, who doesn't have a ship at all, and we have no idea. Like, I assume Kaido's ship has a dragon on it, but we've just never seen it. That's a shame, too. There could have been a really cool dragon-themed design for Kaido's flagship. Um, I know Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow was just a fictional pirate, right? I don't think Jack Sparrow... Was Jack Sparrow a real pirate? I don't think he was. I don't like the logs. Yeah, you know, okay. Blackbeard clearly likes the logs. <laughs> he clearly has a design for that. His first ship was nothing but just a bunch of logs tied together. But even after he made it big, even after Blackbeard made it big, uh, he still he still kept the logs. He really loved those logs. So you gotta, I mean, he knows the man knows what he likes. The man knows what he wants. You know what I mean? And nothing else. Um, I think Blackbeard, and then the crew design. Um, yeah, they all have just a very evil, menacing theme to them. They're like we're evil. And we revel in that. You know what I mean? Like, Shiryu literally walks around just slaughtering people whenever he feels like it. That's who he is. That's how he does it. And he just owns it. You know what I mean? Avala Pizarro is this corrupt king that, like, murdered a bunch of people in his own kingdom. Katarina Davon is literally a serial killer that goes around chopping off the heads of every woman that is more beautiful than her. And she collects them like trophies. Like, they are basically the... Some of the evil, most evil people in the One Piece world gather together, formed a crew, and that's what they're all about, and they just kind of own it, right? Yeah, Jack Sparrow was based off of Jack Rackham, but Jack Sparrow's not a, he's a fictional pirate, so that doesn't count. Um, yeah. Um, you know what? I feel comfortable. Now, see, Blackbeard, I feel comfortable putting him in A tier. I feel comfortable putting Blackbeard up here. If Blackbeard has a really cool ship that we knew that we could see, the name of the ship works. Um, but I just think also, um, no, I mean, it's really, it's really just the lack of a ship here. It's, it's the lack of a ship that's the issue. Uh, and the raft, even if it's like we do see the Saver of Zebek, it's going to have that, that log raft design, which it's, that, that design is like, it's, it's hit or miss with me. It's, it's, it's like, it's a unique design, but then it's just, like, just three logs, like, pasted together with Ultra Hand in, like... I could do that in Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with A tier for right now. I'm gonna go A tier right now. A plus minimum. The log is fire. S tier for Blackbeard. Come on. I'm I'm thinking about it. Hold on. I'm thinking about this more because you you bring up an interesting point. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to be fair as I can here, okay? I know a lot of people are gonna chuckle at that, but I'm I'm trying here, okay? Alright, hold on. Okay, I put Big Mom in A tier. I put Big Mom in A tier because her Jolly Roger kinda sucks. Name of the crew is fine. Ship is awesome, and the crew design is awesome. So for Big Mom, it was an average name, ship and crew really good. Jolly Roger, m you know, below average. With Blackbeard, Jolly Roger is awesome. Name of the crew does really persevere, like I said. That, that name of that crew really sticks around. It, it sticks in your head. The ship name and design, the name is good. The design, we just do not know. And the crew design... I like the aesthetic of Big Mom's crew better than I like Blackbeard's crew. Just because they have the whole family food-themed names, I like that better than I like Blackbeard's 10 Titanic Captains. I'm not to say that I don't like the 10 Titanic, Titanic Captains. I do. I just like the whole design of the family better than Big Mom. But, but, with all that being said, I think that yes... Blackbeard does deserve to go up to S tier. I think, I think to be fair, I think this does work. Okay. Man, I said I was going to judge these rather harshly, and we already have three S tiers. But, keep in mind, we've already covered three emperors. And the emperors are, like, really prominent 
in the world. You know what I mean? So like their their designs are going to be really good. But I think we're going to start chalking up some F tiers pretty damn soon here. This is the it's alphabetical. It just so happens that you know Beast Pirates, Big Mom Pirates, Blackbeard Pirates all start with B's. <laughs> it's just how that goes. Um, no ship, no S. But we have the name of the ship. I put, I put the ship name and design down there. So we have the name of the ship, which is really killer. So with Kaido's, we don't know the name of Kaido's ship. We don't even get a design. We got nothing for Kaido's ship. We have nothing to base that off of. Oh, man. No ship, no S. You know what? All right. But then I have to reevaluate all this crap. Hold on a second here. Oh, this is tough. I got I to gotta reevaluate here. Ugh. This coffee is cold. All right. No ship, no S. No ship, no S. What if the ship is trash? You know what? You're right. Then it would be a trash ship that has a cool-ass name. I don't like to do tier lists that have, like, S minus, A plus, A minus. I, I, I don't like to do that. I, don't really, I really don't. Hmm. Uh. Hmm, I'm thinking. Man, I feel like I, the reason I want to go S tier with Blackbeard is because the only thing that's holding him back is the lack of the ship design. Jolly Roger, fire. Name of crew, fire. The ship's name, fire. Crew design, fire. But... Then again, then again, when it came to S tier, S tier literally had to check every single box. Arlong's crew checks every single box. The beautiful pirates check every single box. So if you're looking over here at the rankings, I, see, I kind of screwed myself over by putting only four on the side, but there's the ship name slash design. So technically there are five. I, I completely forgot that like, we know the name of Blackbeard's ship, but we don't actually see it. I, I should have... Okay. So, because of that, there are five criteria. Jolly Roger design, name of crew, ship name, ship design is four, and then crew design would be five. So, unless you check all five of those boxes, you cannot be S tier. And Blackbeard does not check all five of those boxes. I That's that's how it goes. That's that you have to that is the rule moving forward. You have to check every single box, all five, in order to get there. Maybe I should change that off to the side just to make five criteria. Hold on a moment. Let me let me see if I can modify this for a moment here. Text here. Just, I'm just going to do this to make it, make it obvious that it's a separate thing. There. Five, five criteria right there. Okay, there. All right, that works. Rankings are based off of Jolly Roger design, name of crew, ship name, ship design, crew design. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? Let me, uh, let me change that to... I'm going to go crew uh, theme, I think would be better. Uh... Yeah, I think it's a crew theme. I, I think that's a better way to describe that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now I think though we're we're gonna we're gonna move on. Um okay, so what's up next? Uh oh the black cat pirates. Kuro's crew. The black cat pirates. I gotta be honest with you, I don't hate the Jolly Roger. It doesn't have as much impact as Blackbeard's crew or Cavendish's crew. It's it's just a cat instead of um you know, it, it's just a cat. It's just a cat there. So, okay. Um, I think the cat alone kind of brings it up to C tier at least. But let's let's go through the rest of the shit we have here. Name of the crew. Uh, Black Cat Pirates. I think that's a, that's a pretty all right name for a crew. Black Cat Pirates. It's not like the Kuro Pirates or anything. It's the Black Cat Pirates. Um, they have a ship that I don't think it's... I think it's the... Uh, it's the uh, Kuro Nyan. Oh, wait, no. That's... 
Oh, that's no, that's something else. That's that's a character from um, like what? Wait, what? Kuro Neon, a small black cat living in the weapon shop. Oh, it appears in One Piece Odyssey. Okay, interesting. I have to play the rest of that. I'm still on Alabasta in um, One Piece Odyssey, by the way. Um, black cat pirates. Let's see, what was their what was their ship name? I think it was called the uh, Benzin Black. That was it. Oh, that is oh that is cool, dude. Man, I don't I don't hate this. This is actually a really cool design for a ship. Man, Oda really brings the fire with some of this crap. I'll tell you what, these are not even that major villains. Oh, whoa, it's distorted again. It's like it's a crapshoot with that. Sometimes it loads immediately. Sometimes it crashes. All right, the Benzin Black. That's not bad. You got to admit, that's kind of a cool ship. I love the red and black designs. Um. I'm always a little partial to red and black because those are my school colors. And I've always liked the design. Red and black, I've always thought were really cool together. Um, you, okay, so Jolly Roger design, it's definitely not the best, but it's unique enough to get a pass from me. Name of the crew, Black Cat Pirates. That gets a pass for me. Ship name, Benzin Black. Ship design, Works. The, the Jolly Roger gets a pass from me, but that doesn't it it it's not it's not on the level. It's not on the level of Arlong and and Cavendish. It's just a cat. It's just a cat. The cat doesn't even look like it's it's not like an angry cat. The cat just looks confused, honestly. The cat is just like, eh? huh? Huh? Maybe you could make that like look, if you were gonna design a Jolly Roger based around a cat. You could make that cat look ferocious as fuck. You could have like a like a freaking jaguar, like rah! Or you could have, dude, dude. You could have had like instead of the crossbones, you could have had like the cat scratch in the background, like these scratches in the background, like like double scratches. Um, you can make that cat look ferocious as fuck. You know what I mean? So it's it's just, yeah. You there's there's some lost potential there with that. It really is. Um, crew theme. Now the thing is with the theme. I, I think there was, um, in the anime, okay, no, 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 okay, so we only get, like, a couple of members of Kuro's crew. We get Kuro himself, we get Sham and Bucci, the Nyanban brothers, and we get Jango. There was also the, uh, the guy that they pretended to be Kuro, they hypnotized to be Kuro, and then Morgan's killed him, and then that's how Morgan's, I mean, Morgan became a captain in the Marines. Um... So, Kuro, he has, he doesn't dress like a cat. He just has those long nails that are like the cat nails. Sham and Bucci both dress like cats. So, they're, they're going full on with the cat design. Jango doesn't do anything. Jango does not have anything going on. He just dresses like Michael Jackson, like the, from the 80s. Like, that's, that's basically Jango's design. Jango does not dress like a cat. He doesn't have anything going on relating to a cat. So it seems like the cat theme is not super strong with the crew. Um, the, you know, Sham and Bucci are really the only ones that dress that way. You know, Jango was a goat. He wasn't a cat. He was a goat. There were only two members that were cats. Yeah, <laughs> like, like really, like, yeah. Does the rest of the crew use cat ears? Um, let me Let me check something here. Yeah, the rest of the crew had, they just had little cat ears. They dressed normal, but they just had, like, that's low energy, though. Like, that's like, okay, guys, we're just only going to put on cat ears. Like, that's that's all we're going to do. Here's a couple of cheap $1 cat ears we got from Dollar Tree. Just put them on. There you go. You're the Black Cat Pirates now. Yeah, they did, they just have cat ears, like little little costumes, you know? The only ones that really committed to the bit were Sham and Bucci. Jongo Jongo has a mushroom on his chin. Yeah, what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. Yeah. The theme is it is not as powerful of a theme as as Big Mom's crew or like the Beast Pirates or anything like that. Man, I just feel like there's I really just feel like there's missed potential with this one. I really feel like if they just put a little bit more time into it, they could come up with some really cool shit, you know? Black Cat Pirates. 
Yeah, it's very low energy. You know what it is? I think it might be because Kuro hated being a pirate that, like, the rest of the crew, like, he was like, oh, yeah, you're the black cat pirates. I don't know. Put on these cheap cat ears, whatever. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't care. Like, Kuro did not care enough to actually, like, do, like, oh, that that's our Jolly Roger. Yeah, fine. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, here, put on these ears, I guess. Okay. <sighs> yeah. All right. Here we go. We're pirates. It is Because like, Kuro did not want to be a pirate. So there's just lack of effort there, you know? C or D. I'm feeling C. I'm feeling putting him right next to that works. The Jolly Roger is passable, but it could have been so much better. So much better. If you're going to go with the cat being the Jolly Roger, there are so many cooler cats. Like, let me just... Hold on a second here. Let me, let me show something. Hold on a minute here. I'm, I want to check one thing. Um, <clears throat> um, okay, so this is a logo that was used by the Cincinnati Bengals. It's a football team. This is not the logo they're using right now. They used this logo back in the late 90s. So I remember them with this logo. But this is the, this is the logo that the Cincinnati... The Cincinnati Bengal Pirates! <laughs> but no, like, look, like... You, you, you can do the cat thing and you can make it look cooler. That looks way more ferocious. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That cat custom design was not part of his 100 plans. No, no. All right. Yeah. C for cat. Let's just do that. Yeah. All right. You, you can make a cooler cat than that. All right, what's next? Oh, the uh, the Blick King Pirates. So this is Wapple's crew when he became a pirate. His short-lived stint as a pirate. Let me pull that one up here. Um, um the, the design is... Uh, I mean, it's it's indicative. It's it works as a design, you know. Like th this is Wapple to a T. Um, you got Wapple's iron jaw, his metal jaw. You have the tongue sticking out, like he just finished a good meal. Like, oh god, that was delicious. You got the crown, obviously, because Wapple wanted to be the he's the king, you know. Uh, still is a king technically, although they might revoke that coming up here. Um. I love I love for everybody's just like no it's Wapple he sucks. I'm like guys we're 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 basing him off a crew here. Like let's let's do this. All right? Let's, you know. I like the Jolly Roger. It's unique. It's more unique than the cat. I got to tell you that much. All right? The name of the crew is the um the Blicking Pirates. It is uh, the Tin Tyrant Pirates in the uh, English. Um, their ship was the uh, the Blick King. So the name doesn't really... It's the Blick King Pirates, and you're just going to call them the Blick King. So the design is, is really not super creative. I mean, the name is not super creative there. It's just the same thing for both of them. The Blick King. Oh, my God, it keeps doing that. Blicking Pirates. All right, Blicking. All right, so the ship is actually really dope. I got to be honest with you. The design of the ship actually passes. It does really well for me. You got this huge ship. It's submersible. The whole thing gets covered in metal plates and then can submerge underwater. That is actually really cool. It's, it, I love the snowflake designs on the side. Robson, uh, which is uh, the little white walker, uh, white walkie thing that uh, uh, Wapple has his little companion. His name Robson, and that is the figurehead of the ship. It has this... It, I'll tell you what. This is the first ship in One Piece that has an overly mechanical... It, it's kind of like steampunk in a way. Like a very steampunk advanced kind of design that we really hadn't seen up until now. Um, the ship, I think, does really well. The name doesn't. Uh, it's like one or the other. It's like you're either the Blick King Pirates and you have a different name for the ship, or the ship is called the Blick King and you have a different name for your crew. 
If you're if you're gonna share names, then it's just it doesn't work as well. The crew theme, uh, I don't think there was really a solid theme with this one. Wapple, Chess, Kuro Marimo, uh, and then the rest of the crew just wore like winter clothing and they carried guns around. They they didn't really have like an overall like they, they could have worn like they could have all had like tin armor, like metal armor, like as Wapple has the tin jaw. So all of the crew could have worn like armor with like giant like tower shields. Like you could have went like you could have all went like like a knight in shining armor kind of like not in you know like not like that not like out of fairy tale but like you know tower shields cool tin kind of like unfeeling uncaring killing machines kind of crew like you could have done something with that um so i i theme is kind of lacking name of the ship is kind of lacking jolly roger name and design of the ship are all good um yeah, Chess and Kuro Marimo kind of had their own things going here. Like, Chess's thing was different, and Kuro Marimo had his, like, own... They were, like, off doing their own themes. There was nothing really cohesive, you know? The way teching isn't going to finish the stream this week. Uh, this might be a part two. I mean, I'll go as long as I want to go. Well, well, what would you rather me do? Just, like, Wapple F... You know, I don't like tier list people that do that. I really don't. I don't like it when somebody's doing a tier list and it's just like, okay, this is an F, this is an F, this is an F, this is a D, this is an A. I'll think about this one a little bit. All right, I'll put this on S. All right, this is an F, this is an F, this is an F. You know, I'm doing a tier list. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to go through this. I'm going to look at each one of these damn things, all right? I I'm not I'm not just going to be like, Wapple sucks, he gets an F tier, moving on. <laughs> you know? Isn't D&D &D today? Uh, no, um, that's next week for um one piece D and D. Yeah. Um where am I gonna eat dinner tonight is the question. <laughs> uh okay. But I do think it's time to rank Wapple here. <sighs> okay. Hmm how do we feel about B tier? It got three out of the five. Pretty solid. Um, I'm actually okay with that. Royalty is the theme. Well, even with that, then you have conflicting kind of shit going on. Nah, he doesn't deserve a D. He does a little bit better than D. C or B? C is max. Yeah, I agree. We'll go C. Just thinking here. Yeah, I think that's fair. That's fair, because the Black Cat Pirates, Jolly Roger was eh. Name was good. Ship was good. Uh, ship name was good. See, that's the thing. Like, the only thing that... They were, like, Black Cat's really keeping them down was just the crew theme and the crew design of the... Yeah. I want to go B. I, I feel B. Uh, okay. Here we go. Now we're getting into the... Now we're getting into them. All right, next up is Bonnie. So she's the Bonnie Pirates. We're just going to deduct one point for that. Um... Because you could have come up with something clever with that one, but no. So it's the Bonnie Pirates. Let me pull up that. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Bonnie Pirates. All right. So the name of the crew does not work, but the... um. Jolly Roger for her, I like. Uh, it's it's like a pizza, and that's her favorite f food in the background. So it's got a pizza in the background. Bonnie's pink hair, her lipstick, uh, and there's a big bite taken out of not just the pizza, but also part of her skull, part of her face, uh, which indicates that she's, you know, big eater jewelry Bonnie. So the name is boring as hell. It's just her name. But the Jolly Roger definitely gets a pass on that one. Uh, the ship name, 
We do know, actually, Oda specifically designed all of the Supernova ships for um, Stampede. So we have all of those. Let's see what we got. I think it's called the Pizza Margarita or something like that. Jewelry Margarita, because it's based off of a pizza. Yeah. So the, the designs of the Supernova ships actually are pretty cool. All right. All right. We got the Jewelry Margarita. Uh, I think it gets a pass. I think it gets a pass for both name of the ship and the name and the design of the ship. Uh, I love the whole thing is based off of pizza. You can see the pepperoni. You can see the cheese melting on the deck. The The figurehead is kind of... The figurehead is weird because it's like you could have maybe done something cooler than that. You literally just took the simplified Jolly Roger on the... Um, the simplified skull on the Jolly Roger and then just made that bigger. I feel like you could have done something clever for the um for the figurehead. It's like a pizza themed ship, so I don't know. You could have had a you know those little you know those little uh things they put on like Domino's pizza like you open it up and there's like the little like the little centerpiece in the pizza, like the little table. You you could have done something with that maybe. I don't know. Um I I I like it though. I like it though. Uh now for the crew theme, they don't really have a theme. Uh, they all wear... Um, oh, I'm going to take the Tin Tyrant off there. They don't really wear um, anything special uh, because of Bonnie's ability to alter their, the crew's age. They all wear clothing that's, like, really tight, uh, usually, because when they change their ages, it, 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 the clothes don't change with them, so they have to still be able to wear them if, like, Bonnie transforms them into, like, a child or something. So they, they all wear, like, misshapen, like... And even Bonnie herself wears clothing that's very... It doesn't fit her. That's not really a theme, though. That's kind of just like a... That's just like, oh, that's like a practical clothing choice because of Bonnie's abilities. Or impractical clothing choice, depending on, you know, <laughs> depending on the situation. But there's really... There's no theme with Bonnie's crew, really. Uh, I mean, like, Wapple with the Beast Pirates, I mean, dude, I'm telling you what, like, try to... I will say this much. Try to take away any idea of, like, strength from this list. We are not ranking these crews based off of strength. We are ranking them, we're ranking them based off of the design of their overall crew. Yes, obviously the Beast Pirates are a million times stronger than the Wapple, Wapples Pirates. Like, obviously. They can wipe them all out in, like, less than ten. You send Ulti, just Ulti. Ulti could decimate Wapples' crew in less than a minute. All right? Like, that's not what we're ranking here. So, I know... Looking at the list, it's like, Beast Pirates are next to Wapple. It's like, hey, man, that's how we're doing it. Her clothes fit. Uh, they really don't, <laughs> but okay. Um, I think Bonnie deserves, based off of what we're doing here, the only thing she really lacks is she's getting she's losing a point because of the name, and she doesn't really have a theme. So to me... That seems textbook B tier. If we're taking a point off for no theme whatsoever and we're taking a point off for the name of the crew. I think this might be where a lot of supernovas end up, actually. Yeah. Okay. All right, next up, buggy. Oh, buggy, buggy, buggy. Buggy, buggy, buggy. Buggy pirates. All right. I got to tell you guys right now, I know everybody's going to go S tier for buggy, S tier for buggy. I got to be honest with you guys, though. I feel like there's a little bit of missed potential here. Buggy is the clown pirate. All right. You could have literally just he could have named his crew the clown pirates, the circus pirates, the carnival pirates. He has the Jolly Roger, which is. A nose. It has the red nose. S tier flag. You know what? I really don't think so. I know a lot of people are going to get mad at me for that, but I feel like this flag, like, I feel like you could do more with this. I feel like you could even, even just adding, like, Buggy's blue hair on the flag. Like, if Buggy's whole thing is, I'm the fucking clown pirate, all right? You could really go nutso with that. Like, I feel like the clown pirate should have a super colorful flag, you know? 
Like, you, you could go even just the skull, the red nose, and, like, blue hair. Maybe some color in the background. Maybe the skull itself could have some color to it. Like, some face paint. It's, it's the fucking clown pirates, you know? Buggy's ship is called the Big Top. It That is cool. The ship... Buggy's ship is awesome. That's going to get him some major points. We got to stop and think about this logically here, okay? The Big Top is fun. This image doesn't even do it a great justice because uh, it's kind of at a weird angle. But the deck of the ship is really cool. The deck of the ship has like... I mean, you can't even really see it all that well, but the deck of the ship looks awesome. It has like a giant carnival tent... And people are going around doing, like, you know, juggling and, like, fire-breathing shit all the time. It's got, like, an elephant that fires cannons out of the figurehead. You know, like, the, the Big Top is a cool name for a ship. He's got the Big Top. He's got a cool ship name. All of Buggy's crew are, they're all clowns or performers, so the theme is there. Um, but then again, the name of his crew, he just goes with Buggy Pirates. I feel like the Clown Pirates would work so much better, Buggy. I set a rule, and my rule is if you have the name in your crew with nothing else really to distinguish it, like Bartow Club added something different, but his name is Buggy. From what we know, it's just Buggy, all right? And he just Buggy, Buggy, boom, that's it. So you're getting a point off for that. I'm sorry, Buggy. And uh, I feel like the Jolly Roger could be more. I feel like you could do more with this shit. Hmm. I'm not going to include. I'm not including the uh, cross guild on this because they don't have a Jolly Roger yet, and uh, they haven't even started sailing around in their own ship yet. So I, I'm not. I'm not including. I'm not including cross guild stuff here. Yeah, I think because it, it's kind of like Buggy is his name, but. It also works as a clown name, you know? It's a weird name. It's not like, my name is Bill the Pirate, the Bill Crew. It's it's Buggy. Buggy is the name you would think of. Like, hey, our kids, I'm Buggy the Clown. Like, it works. So maybe we could just split the diff. Maybe we could just be, like, half off for name. Like, a point off for name, but, like, kind of half a point more because of, um... The, the, the... What was the other thing I took off? The, the No, not the theme. There's the ship name, the design... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe it makes it up like the Jolly Roger kind of like makes up for it a bit. I I think a tier is fine. I can't go higher than that. Yeah. I I think a tier is the most I can go with buggy because it's it's kind of skirting a line with that. He doesn't embrace the clown. I mean, he embraces the clown 100%. I feel like you could do more with the Jolly Roger than that, though. I feel like the Jolly Roger is kind of lacking. Yeah. Yeah, I think A is acceptable for Buggy. All right, what's next? Uh, Caribou. I think he also is just called the Caribou Pirates, too. Um, Pretty sure it's just the Caribou Pirates, in which case, minus a point. Caribou. Yep, just the Caribou Pirates. All right, so Jolly Roger. I like the angular. Um, I like the light, like the angles with this one. Um, his name is based off of a. He's just a Caribou, so you got the homage, the homage to a Caribou. At least, see here, I know what the fucking horns represent. You know what I mean? Like these, these things make sense, and you can also kind of look at them like waves. So it's like he's a Caribou, but you got the waves. Also, the horns of the caribou, the antlers of a caribou. I, I like the angular expression of the jaw. Uh, you got the zigzag hair thing, which represents his hair. Um, you got the little, you got the little, that that little piece of like goatee. I feel is kind of unnecessary, but I, I don't think it hurts it. I just feel like you can kind of cut that out. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, now, caribou's ship. What is the name of Caribou's ship? Do we have that? Uh, Numabo. 
the Numa Bow. I like this. This actually is cool because it has a cool uh, figurehead. The Numa Bow. Because he ate the Numa Numa no me. So, there it is. Yeah, the uh, the figurehead of this is um, a standard, just like an actual caribou. So, but other than that, the caribou the caribou figurehead is is beast. I'll I'll admit, but other than that, it's a normal ass ship. It's it's a pretty standard ship. It just has a cool figurehead. The name of the ship, it it it's okay. The name of the ship is fine. Uh, the Numa Bow because he has the Numa Numa no me. Not super creative, but it's not bad. I, I've heard worse names for a ship. Um, the ship's actually cool. The The figurehead is cool. There's nothing else about the ship that's really unique. It's just a ship that has a cool figurehead. It's, it's yeah. Uh, then the crew theme. Uh, the theme of his crew, I don't even think they really had one. They're, they didn't all dress like... They oh god they all dressed like, like mimes. <laughs> they they all dressed like mimes, dude. Hold on a second, let me show you this. So caribou had his own. I don't think Car caribou's like caribou's design was like escaped mental patient because he had like the suit. He looked like he was wearing like a like a straight jacket that he broke out of. As for the rest of his crew though, caribou's crew just looks like, look at that. They're like they're like mimes, the the grave diggers. Korobo has a lizard. They have Momu. Yeah. Momu, no. They look dopey. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't the theme like they were grave diggers? They were like graveyard. Yeah, kind of. I mean, that was like they they carried shovels around. That was kind of a theme. Yeah, I guess they did have a theme. They had a theme. They. They kind of went around and, like, smacked people with shovels and then, like, buried them with the shovels. All right, I, I guess. It's it's not much of, like, a big cohesive theme, but it, it is a theme. <laughs> this this would be Louis LeClock's favorite, favorite crew. I love the mimes. The mimes are good. <laughs> um, all right, so let's see what we got here. All right, so we have um, Jolly Roger, okay. Name of crew gets a point uh, docked. Uh, ship name is just okay. Ship design is average, and the crew theme is is something. They do have a crew theme. Not a very creative one. Like, like hey, guys, we're going to carry these shovels and, like, hit people with shovels, and then we can bury them with the shovels. It's like, okay. <laughs> All right, cool, I guess. Um, I'm I'm feeling C tier. I'm feeling C tier for Caribou. I'm feeling like he's he's pretty average here. What do, what do you guys think for this? Louis has standards, damn you. Yeah, C. I think C tier's all right. I mean, we haven't we haven't gotten anything yet that I think is so damn bad is worthy of F tier. I really don't think so. I don't know if anything will even go into F tier. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe something will. I don't look at it. I'm not seeing anything on here that's like so bad. Well, okay, actually, we'll we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, moving on. Uh, what's next? We have uh, the Cook Pirates. The Cook Pirates. Of course, the mighty crew of Redfoot Zeph. Cook Pirates. Where did I put your Jolly Roger? Uh, here we go. All right. So, um... They're the cook pirates. They're cooks. That works. That it makes sense. You got the knife and the fork. You got a chicken. Or maybe a duck. Not really sure. I think it's supposed to be a chicken. Chicken, of course, is a staple food. 
It's got it lays eggs that you can cook. You can kill the chicken and chicken breasts, chicken tenders, chicken head, whatever you eat. Um, flag's really good. Um, so on that front, keep in mind this is an older flag, and it, there's not like a better like this is like an older design flag. Like there's not like an updated version of this, like a better quality version of this. So this is really all we get. But let's look up uh, Zeph's um, the Cooking George. Let's see what we got here. The Cooking George. Like the name, Cooking George is pretty good. Okay, so the uh, the wine bottle that you see there, that's a separate ship. That's the Orbit, which was the cruise ship they attacked. So that's not part of that ship. So the Cooking George, it it looks like a oh I did okay. It looks like a normal ship at first glance, but it does have some stuff attached to it here. You got the the chicken head with a bib, and then you have the fork and the knife. The chicken is wearing a, a chef's hat. There's also two chef's hats in the crow's nest, and there's, like, hooks on the end of the, the sails, which might be indicative of, like, meat hooks. Like, you'll have a meat hook in a freezer to hang, like, you know, pork. Or, or cows or whatever, and freeze them until it's time to, like, prepare them. Um, I mean, the flag is, the flag is kind of, I like the flag. I don't, I don't think it's mid, I don't think it's great. I think it's slightly above mid-tier for the flag. Yeah, the, the Baratier was a lot more inspired, but, but we're not ranking the Baratier. We're ranking his pirate ship. That's what we're doing. It's a duck! Yeah, I think it is a duck. Looking at it this way, it does look like a duck. It looks like a duck on the figurehead, but it looks like a chicken when you look at it like this. Wouldn't his ship be the Baratier? Uh, Zeph's not a pirate anymore, so no. Baratier's not a pirate ship. Um, so it's, 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 it's all right. You know, I, I think it's just above average in both regards. I think the design of the Jolly Roger is just above average, and I think the ship design is just above average. Where Caribou had a nice figurehead, but the rest of the ship was ordinary and boring, there's just enough added to the Cooking George to make it distinct, but not overly distinct. The ship design, like I said, barely above that. Crew theme. Uh, I don't remember a lot of Zeph's crew... Uh, I don't even know if we saw a lot of them. Uh, no. I think, I think Zeph's crew just all looked like regular-ass pirates. Uh, did, did, did Zeph's crew all, like, if they were all wielding, like, like, they were all dressed like chefs, like, if they were all wearing, like, like, let's say they were wearing, like, kitchen aprons and stuff, like a chef's outfit, but they were, like, dyed red with blood, and, like, oh, that would be cool, like, red foot Zeph. And then the crew comes out wearing red kitchen attire and, like, a blood-soaked, like, chef's hat. And they all had, like, giant forks and knives. I know they wielded those during the Baratier. But, like, uh, you know, let me, let me look up the Cook Pirates here. Um, the only known crew members are Zeph. And non-canonically, Fosty. Who the fuck is Fosty? Okay, that's just a guy that looks... That is a normal dude. That is a normal guy. He appears in One Piece Odyssey. I guess he used to be a member of the... The Cook Pirates. But he does not look unique at all. He doesn't have, like, a cook-chef design, so... Pfft. Yeah. Um, That doesn't look like Kaido at all. Yeah, you're right. All right, I think I've seen enough here. Um... I'm going to go B tier on this one. The lack of crew theme is really the only thing I can complain about here. Everything else is either average or slightly above average. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll go B. That's all right. Okay, what's next? Uh, okay, so next up is the smile. We got Doflamingos. Now, this is an interesting this is an interesting design because it's not just Doflamingo's personal Jolly Roger. Oh my god, why do I keep 
Oh, there we go. It's also kind of the symbol for, like, his entire, like, pirate, you know, like, underworld, like, industry. Like, this thing is not so much a Jolly Roger as it literally is, like, a logo for a business. Like, an underworld, like, black market business. Is, like, like slave trading and shit. Is, is literally what this thing represents. Um, so, I'm actually debating how to judge this one. Do I judge it just solely how Doflamingo, like, just his crew and that it? Or do I judge it based on, like, everything that symbol represents? Because Jolly Roger design is, it's it's simplistic, but it's powerfully sim as simplistic. The name of the crew would be the Doflamingo family, which I don't think, you don't get away with using just family. It's, it's Doflamingo, you have it in the name. Um, ship name, does Doflamingo, Doflamingo definitely had a flagship. Doflamingo family. No, no, it's actually, no, it's actually just the Don Quixote, it's the Don Quixote Pirates or the Don Quixote family. Either way, it has his name in it. Oh, yeah, it did. Uh, the Numancia Flamingo. Okay, that's, that's funny as shit. <laughs> All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, okay, like... <laughs> God damn it, Doflamingo. One of the most evil sons of bitches in the entire One Piece world. You have to understand how evil Doflamingo is, and he sails around in this monstrosity. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fuck it. I feel like <laughs> I mean Jolly Roger is iconic. Name of the crew No, you lose a point for that. A tier. I'm sorry, you're losing a point for that. Ship name the Lumancia Flamingo, good. Ship design is so, it's so goofy. It, it, it's so horrible. It's perfect, all right? And then the crew theme, they're, they're like the mafia. They all kind of have like their mafia family thing going on here. I, I made a, no, I made a rule. If you have your name in the, in the, in the, in the title of your crew and you don't even attempt to like do anything with it, it it's, it's just like your last name or first name as the crew. You're you're getting a dock point for that. I don't care. That's that's the ironclad rule I said at the beginning of this. You're not you're not getting S tier, I'm sorry. But I gotta be honest with you, like that flamingo is amazing. Oh yeah, they have the card theme. They have the card theme, the the spade, club, heart, diamond. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's as high as I can put you. Yeah. I love that. I love that design. That's great. But Arlong, Arlong did not, uh, that's not his name. It was not the Arlong Pirates, it was the Fishman Pirates. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they were not the Arlong Pirates. I could double check on that, but. Oh, the fit, hold on a second here. Let me, let me double check on that actually, because that is significant. That might be a Mandela effect kind of thing. Oh, wait, no. What the fuck? Okay, that was a Mandela effect moment for me. I could have sworn they were the Fishman Pirates. Because they were called the new Fishman... Oh, wait, no. Because Okay, no. Wait, no, those are the Sun Pirates. All right, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let's back up for a moment here. Let's back up for a second. Okay. So, Arlong's crew are just the Arlong Pirates. Horty Jones's crew were the new Fishman Pirates. And Fisher Tiger's crew were the Sun Pirates. Where are the normal Fishman Pirates? Unless the Sun Pirates were also called the Fishman. Let me look that up. Sun Pirates. Okay, 
Sun Pirates, also known as Fishman Pirates. Okay, this is... That is where the confusion originated from. That is where the confusion originated from there. Okay, well, if that is the case, then I have to move our along down. The way I thought it went was because Hody, d Hody based his crew off of Arlong. I thought the Arlong pirates were the Fishman pirates, and then Hody based his crew off, so new Fishman pirates. That's what I originally assumed. All right. Yeah, Hody has the new Fishman pirates, but he was basing that off of the Sun Pirates' alternate name rather than Arlong's alternate name. It literally just is Arlong pirates. My god, I did not... That is a Mandela effect if there ever was one there. I... I wow. Wow. Damn it, Arlong. You had you had everything going for you, Arlong. You had everything going for you. You just could have picked a different goddamn name. It was even Arlong Pirates. It was Arlong Pirates and Four Kids. It was Arlong Pirates and Funimation. Like, it was the Arlong Pirates, man. They, they were not only... Yeah. Huh. Yep. Okay. Well, that's the situation. That's the situation. Sorry, Arlong. Sorry, buddy. So the only pirate crew... The only pirate crew that has checked all these boxes so far is Cavendish's Beautiful Pirates. Can we get an applause for Cavendish? Go, Cavendish! All right. Well, that's that that was what we that was what we did. That was the agreement, right? Okay. Huh, who's next? Drake Pirates. The Drake Pirates. So Drake loses a point because it's the Drake Pirates. But his crew is a little different. Actually, that's not accurate. Hold on. Because his, his Jolly Roger actually does have a different background. Here it is. This is what it's supposed to look like. Because he, he, he's red flag Diaz Drake. Do you get it? Because he was a traitor. In the Marines, and uh, you were considered like red flag is like the, the flag of a traitor. So red flag Diaz Drake. So it's literally a red flag with a uh, the best uh, design I've had for this. It just says it's like a European styled symbol. I, I don't know if this symbol is supposed to be anything in particular, but it's it's it looks different. The, the, the design of it is from a different kind of like place rather than the skulls. It's based off of like, you know, because Sir Francis Drake who was a British privateer, explorer. He's the one that, he was the first person to, he was the first European to reach the western side of the continental United States. And he was also the first person to circumnavigate the entire world in a, like, because um, Magellan attempted this, but Magellan died halfway through. And then uh, uh, Cano, who is his, like, second in command, he made it all the way around. But he was the first British person to cir circumnavigate the entire globe in, in one consistent expedition. Um, so I really like the design and I like the swords in the background because he fights in that way. He, his crew does have a theme. Uh, they all wear similar hats, if nothing else. They have like a musketeer kind of theme. Hold on, Drake pirates. Um, yeah, they, they all, they just, they all kind of wear the same kind of hat that has like a three musketeer kind of vibe. Um, the name of the crew is, is weak. The ship name is the Liberal Hind, which is referencing, um, the, uh, the name of Sir Francis Drake's ship was the Golden Hind. There's actually a replica of it in England that's uh, seaworthy. They made a replica of it. So that was the Golden Hind. This is the Liberal Hind, which is a... I love the design of the Liberal Hind because it, it's taking a former Marine ship and then repurposing it. Because you could see the Marine stencils on the bottom, but they repainted it so it's black and red rather than white and blue. So they literally invert the colors from white to black to blue to, I mean, white and blue to black and red. That's cool. And I love the red flags. I love, like, like Drake took that and just rolled with it. Like, I'm a traitor. I'm a red flag. All right, well, I'm going to make it the red flag. All right. Communist Drake! <laughs> I guess, well, liberal is in his, <laughs> liberal, I, I don't know. Some people in America, there's like, liberals are communists, you know, like, honestly, uh... Um, talk to some people living around Pennsylvania. They'll, they'll probably like, like liberal is communism. Liberal is socialist. It's all the same thing. <laughs> um, the ship design I like, and I like the ship's name and the crew theme is the crew theme is a little lacking. 
But from what we've seen of it, it does exist. Uh, let me see if I can get a decent picture of the crew design really quick. I made a video about Drake with the Supernova series. Let me see if I have that on standby. Because uh, when he visits Kaido's island with Scotch, the robot dude, uh, we do get to see his crew in kind of full view there. Uh, let's see if I have an image of it. Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Here's here's Drake's crew. All right. Like, that actually, you know what? Looking at it now, that actually is a pretty dope theme. They're, they all have like a three musketeer kind of thing going on. They all have a cloak. They all wear the same hats. And they they wield rapiers. They wear like rapiers as their weapons. Like little fencing sabers. That is a theme, good sir. That is a like 18th century kind of, uh, not conquistador, that would be Spanish, but that's like 18th century kind of vibe there. You you got something going on there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I honestly, I think it deserves an A. Honestly, I, I think everything works for A, except just the name of the crew. Um, July Roger's awesome. It's very unique. Uh, you really don't see any other, like, like, any other Jolly Roger on here that's red in the background, the only one is the Revolutionary Army. And that's not even a pirate crew. I just kind of threw that on there as, like, bonus. So, you got the Roshio Pirates, but that's more of a red circle, not the whole thing is red. Yeah. I'm going to put it A tier. If it wasn't for that name, if it wasn't for the damn name, they would they would be S tier right now. They'd be, they'd be hanging out with the beautiful pirates, but I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Oh, the fake Straw Hat crew. All right, now, now the F tier might come into play. Now the F tier may come into play. <laughs> uh, isn't that a reversed Marine logo? I don't think it's supposed to be a reversed Marine logo. I think it's supposed to be just a really cool looking like European kind of style like design that knights and shit would wear back in the day. I don't know. Um, so we're... Okay, so let let no let's let's do this fairly here. I don't think I have this. Oh wait, no, I I, I made a video about the fake straw hats. Uh, fake straw hats. Where did I put you? God, I I love I I keep records for everything. Every video I've ever made has a folder. It is I I am very highly organized when it comes to <laughs> videos. Um. Okay, here we go. So this is the Jolly Roger that the fake Straw Hat crew... Okay, how stupid do you have to be to fuck this up? I mean, really, like... Like, like really, all you have to do is take the existing Jolly Roger that you know what it looks like and just copy it one for one. These dudes were... These people were trying to make people think the Straw Hat crew was back, and they messed up the Jolly Roger. All you had to do was just copy it if you wanted to do it. If you wanted to make people think you were the Straw Hats... Copy the straw hat. Oh man, weren't most pirates European? There were there were Chinese pirates back in the day. I don't know. You'd have to check to see which ones are like. There were percentages of more European pirates to British pirate. I mean, Britain is in England. European pirates or Asian pirates, uh, or pirates of the Caribbean. I don't know. Um, African pirates. I'm not really sure. You'd have to go back and check. I think there were probably more European ones, but there might be more. Um, it's the sleazy version. Yeah. Uh, the name of the crew is just the Straw Hat Pirates, so they're copyright infringing on that one. Ship name is, they didn't have a ship, but I'm assuming they would have, I'm assuming they would have grabbed a shitload of, like, really crappy wood together and just, here's the going, Mary! <sighs> you know, like, there you go. It's like a crappy dollar store going, Mary. <laughs> like, there you go. Um... The crew theme is literally copyright infringement. This is copyright infringement, the, the the pirate crew. Yeah. So I'm putting them at FF tier because they're literally just, they're just posers, man. They're a bunch of posers. They're like, like Bartolomeo, Bartolomeo's whole thing is like, okay, I am a fanboy of the Straw Hats. I love the Straw Hats so much. I'm going to make that my theme. There's a little bit of endearingness to that, but it's also kind of like cringy and a little bit overkill. But they also have the power. Like, Bartolomeo's strong. They made it to the New World. They kind of have the strength to back it up. Uh, Damalo Black and the, the fake Straw Hats literally were just a bunch of nobody posers that were like, I'm just going to steal the, the Straw Hats clout and try to make that my own and try to get through the, the grand line with that. That is literally what they were trying to do. 
They weren't doing it because they love the Straw Hats. They had some homage to the, the Straw Hats. They literally were just stealing their, their, their shit, you know? Phonies! You're just a bunch of phonies! <laughs> exactly, they are. Yeah. The theme deserves an S. No, because it sucked. All right? It sucked. The theme was horrible. The theme was, we're going to steal the pirates. We're going to steal the Straw Hats image to make our own name for ourselves. And we're just going to do it in a crappy way. You know what I mean? Great, great theme, great flag, great crew name. Oh, well, you know what? Honestly, let's just go, let's go S tier then. I don't see any problem here. Um, I'm thinking F. Okay, what could possibly be worse than double F tier here? What could possibly be worse? I'm seeing some shit here that could be bad. <laughs> um, Because if the fake straw hats are not going on the double F tier, I don't... I don't think there's any other pirate crew that's going to go on there. I'm, I'm leaving them in the double F tier. They deserve double F tier. I'm leaving them there. Okay. Oh, now we're talking. Actually, you know what? We, we have two crews coming up here that are real bangers. We have two crews coming up that I love that might be contenders for S tier. They might actually both be contenders for S tier. But I really need to take a piss. So I'm going to go drop this piss, and I'm going to come back, and then we're going we're gonna to tackle two really solid contenders for an S tier category. So you guys start thinking about this and, and I'll be right back. I'm going to go back to Shanks here and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. All right. What is this garbage music? Fuck you. That's awesome music. It's Attack on Titan, dude. Okay. Uh, moving on here. All right. So we got some really good crews here. I got to admit. These ones are probably like the best ones out of the whole Supernova lot. Uh, we got... The Fallen Monk Pirates. Led by the great, the indomitable, Arouge. If I can find his Jolly Roger here. Here it is. Okay. We got the Fallen Monk Pirates. Okay. That, in a sea of supernovas that all have their damn name, that is badass. The Fallen Monk Pirates. The Jolly Roger of this is great. Every aspect, it, it, work, it looks better when it's in color, obviously, but... The 
the design of this is impeccable. You got Aruja's face, you got his wings, and you got the beads of his necklace, of like his Buddhist like aesthetic there. So you got that going for it. Um, you got his ship, which I'll pull up now. And Aruja's ship is so cool. Fallen Monk Pirates. And the Hanjo Maru. Oh my god, that is so damn cool. Ah, oh man. This might be an S tier, guys. It might be. Oh, well. Whoa, that looks so demonic. It's like a freaking Keishin. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this ship. Look at that. Hanjo Maru. Has a freaking Oni. It's a damn Oni. That actually looks terrifying. Like, if you saw that thing sailing to you out of the... Like, imagine it's a foggy night on the sea. The sun just went down. Fog. And then you see this fucking thing emerging out of the fog. That is, like, scary as crap. All right? Hanjo Maru. What does that mean? Probably something with... Okay. Um... Hanjo Maru. Does it actually say? Huh. Doesn't actually say what it means. Um, oh, it has kanji though. Let me look up let me look up the kanji for this. Kanji time. We gotta look up kanji when it comes to when it comes to this name, so I really know what the name means. Okay, Hanjo Maru. Okay, it has the kanji for Hanya, which means um wisdom. And, and I've heard things like wisdom demon could be a thing with that. And then it has the kanji for uh, castle or fortress. Oh, it has the kanji for shiro, which is the same for, like, the like uh, uh, Beiji's fruit. So it's, like, you know, wisdom, castle, and then what? The last kanji is, like, what? Chikara? No, circle. Maru. Perfection. I, uh, I think it works. I think it fits. Um, I mean, oh, the crew. Yeah, the crew has it, dude. The crew works. The crew has the theme. I mean, the theme itself, like, like, Arouge, Arouge had it right where he doesn't have an overly complicated theme. All right, his theme is they are fallen Buddhist monks from the sky. That is their theme. And here is his crew. Like, they're all wearing cloaks. They're, like, they have the, they have the sashes, they have the cloaks, they all dress the same. Kind of looks like they're in a cult. Honestly, but that sort of works for a rouge. You know what I mean? Like, them all wearing the same thing kind of works. Like, there's some kind of religious order, which they kind of are. You know? So, like, let's go through this again. All right, Jolly Roger design. I love it. Name of the crew, Fallen Monk Pirates. I love it. Ship name, Hanjo Maru. I think it works perfectly. It has a fucking Oni on it. Ship design, amazing. Crew theme, works. I think... I think we've hit all the fucking marks on this one. I think we've hit all the five points. I, I think we go, I think we're going S tier on Arouge. I really, I mean, if somebody has any uh, counteracting uh, claim on that, let me know. But I, I don't, I don't A tier. I, why? What, what, what's missing from it? I, I really don't see it. Everything that Cavendish has, he has too. I, I don't see anything missing here. Um. S everyone's saying S tier. I agree, dude. Anybody that's saying A tier, like make your case for A tier. Like why do you think it does not fit S tier? Cuz I I'm really not seeing it here. I have a counterclaim. All right, state state your counterclaim, sir. State your counterclaim. Um Pokemon pirate flag. I think the flag looks dope. I don't think it looks like a Pokemon. It's his his thing is he's literally a he grins and smiles as he bashes your face in with a giant metal pillar. That's that's what he does. The fact that he's smiling and grinning on the Jolly Roger, I I think it fits. The the, the flag looks Aztec for some reason. Probably because of the the wings design and they had like like a lot of winged serpents. The lack of drip. Arouge has all of the drip, sir. 
My argument is that it is A tier because it is not S tier. Okay, well, with that being said, S tier, we have all the information that we're ranking today for Arouge. Yes, he hasn't done much in the story. Really, he hasn't really done anything in the story. But we have all the information we need. Okay, we have a name for the crew. We have a Jolly Roger. We have a ship name. We have the ship design. We have a crew theme. We have all that shit. We just don't know a lot about Arouge. All right, but, you know, missing relevance in the story, that is not what we are grading this on today, sir. Okay. Um, when he shows up, it just means he's going to be more badass when he finally shows up and does things. Okay. Now, not to lose, not to lose stride, though, we are moving right along to another really good crew and, and a possible contender here, definitely, for S tier as well. Because this guy knows where it's at. This guy brought the fire with this. Uh, I'm looking for a uh, the colored image of it, but I can't find the colored image here, so I'm just going to use this one. But uh, you can see the uh, the image that's colored in there in the tier list. So we now have the Fire Tank Pirates, led by Capone Beji. Al Capone Beji. I do not have words. This Jolly Roger is so unique. It incorporates his Devil Fruit ability, the fact that he literally is a castle man. He transforms into a castle. So you got his face being a part of the castle wall, merging with the castle's parapets. You got a flag coming out of him. You got his cigar. You got the guns pointed right at you. This is a S tier Jolly Roger. This is an S tier Jolly Roger, all right? I don't care what anyone says. Name of the crew, Fire Tank Pirates. Not only that, but the fire tank pirates walk around with giant ass tower shields that say FT on them. And they all dress like fucking gangsters. Beiji's theme is gangster, obviously, but he is hardcore with that. He's like, every single morning, men, shine your shoes. Make sure your suits are freshly pressed. I'm not going to have any, any schmutz on your suits here in the fire tank crew. Like, Beiji polices this strictly as fuck, all right? Every single member there, you know, in the castle, there is an all night dry cleaning and all night laundry because his men need to make sure they look the part. Freshly pressed suits, freshly shined shoes, cologne, well kept hair, well kept everything. They're like shine your swords, make sure your shields or make sure your guns are in top shape. He makes sure everybody stays on top of this in his crew. Not gangster, mafia. No, that's a good point. Not gangsters. They are the mafia. They are the mafia. The fire tank mafia. Yeah. A gangster crew. That's like that's like Bartolomeo's crew. That's like Doflamingo. No, they are... The, well, Doflamingo's kind of mafia too, but fire tank pirates do it better. They do it better. All right? They do it definitely better. Uh, ship name. Oh, we haven't even talked about the ship yet. All right, well, let's pull that up. All right. So, <clears throat> Fire Tank Pirates. Their ship is the Nostra Castello. And uh, let me just pull that up here. If it loads. It does not. <sighs> There's really no rhyme or reason to that. It's just... Wait, actually, sometimes it might just load if I... No, nope, it won't do it no matter what. Okay. Just checking. This is an awesome ship. Ah, the Nostra Castello, mind you. Look at this thing. All right, not only does the ship have an awesome design as well, it has the cannons, it has the parapet out in front, like the rook, because he was the rook of the uh, Big Mom crew as well, so there's a rook there, the symbol, like the chess piece. But also, you can't see it. It's a little bit behind the sails there, but you, you see the giant castle design on the ship. And the damn thing has tank treads that can bring it up on land. Now, it was destroyed, unfortunately, but I'm not ranking it based off of if it was destroyed or not. All right? This is cool as shit. The reference, the Nostra Castello. Uh, the ship means our castle in Italian, although the correct association would have been Nostro Castello, since Castello is a male noun. Ah, I see. So maybe Oda didn't 100% know how to, you know, write Italian, which is fine. Um... The ship's name is likely a reference to the Cosa Nostra, the Italian name for the Sicilian Mafia, fitting in with the Mafia theme of the crew. I mean, come on now. This is this is great. Th this is fantastic. You got the referencing back to the real-world mafiosos of Italy. You have a 
terrestrial tank treaded castle ship the crew are all impeccably dressed as mafioso like come on this is this is s tier 100 percent. in fact i'm not really doing this but i'm gonna do this anyway i'm, I'm gonna do this for s tier there you go there you go so far the fire tank crew i think embody this 100 percent Maybe, maybe I'll do this, actually. There you go. If you, if you want to do this. That is going to the top of S tier. Top of S tier. Beiji checked every box. JB... No, not JB. <laughs> uh, Beiji knew he was going out to sea to be a pirate, and he knew he wasn't going to go out to sea to be a good pirate unless he had everything ready to go. And he had everything ready to go. 100%. How long have we been streaming? <laughs> Uh, two hours. Almost two and a half hours. And how many more of these do we have left? <laughs> I, I can, I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking about breaking this up into two-part stream. Um, let's see. How many did we get through? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We did, we did 20 crews. We did a solid 20 crews so far. Um, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... So 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 34, 35, 36. We have like 30. We have like over 30 to go. Um, I think this might be a good place to stop part one. Um, we did 20. Well, okay, hold on a moment. Let me let me figure this out. Let me we could just do half and half. Hold on a second. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, we did 20. We did 20 exactly. And we have 28, 29, 30, 35 left. So 35 plus 20. We had 55 divided by 2. So that's 27. 27.5 would be half. All right, let's do... Fuck it. Let's just do 8 more. We'll do 8 more... Then we'll stop. That'll be halfway. And we'll do the other half next time. We'll do that. We'll do, we'll do, okay. There we go. Wait, hold on. I'm just double check. I didn't count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that'd be 28 and then 30. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah. Okay. We'll do, we'll do eight more. All right. You need seven more. I'll, I'll just do 27.5. I'll just, I'll just do 28. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The last one will be Hawkins. That'll be good because we'll finish it off with Hawkins, and the next time we can start with with Law's crew, starting with the Heart Pirates. Next time, that's that's a strong opener. I feel. So we'll end it at Hawkins. Yes, yeah, stopping right before Law. Yeah, but that's for part two. That'll be good. And also in part two, we got the Heart Pirates. We got the Kid Pirates. We're going to get the Straw Hats in part two. We're going to get the Roger Pirates, the Red Hair Pirates, the Sun Pirates. Part two is going to be fun. Part two is going to have a lot of big names. And I'm starting to get kind of, you know, my throat's starting to get kind of raspy here. And I'm starting to get kind of hungry. <laughs> I think I'm going to go to dinner after this. All right. But let's move on. The Flying Pirates. Many of you might even not know this one. This is this is Vander Decken's crew. All right, now the Flying Pirates have a lot going for them, and they lo don't have a lot going for them at the same time. All right, I, I don't even think I have their Jolly Roger on my page. Uh, do I? Oh well, I don't even think I I don't even think I did them in my Jolly Roger video. I think I completely forgot them. That's sad. All right, well, let's see what we got here. All right, so Vanderdecken is actually Vanderdecken like the ninth or something, or is he Vanderdecken the twelfth? He's Vanderdecken the. Uh... Is this fucking Vanderdecken the ninth? Yeah, so this is actually not his ship. This is actually his like great 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 grandfather ship. I think so it does work though i mean it's a beaten to crap ship but it is the flying dutchman okay the flying dutchman is not just a spooky ghost ship no the flying J dutchman 
is the ghost ship. It is the it is the origin. It is the originator of all ghost ships. It is the legendary ghost ship. Okay? So the fact that it's all beaten to crap and covered in moss and missing like planks and stuff and the sails are all ripped and tattered that just adds to the aesthetic of it it's a damn ghost ship all right um and so i think it's going to earn points for that the flying dutchman name and the ship design is fine uh the jolly roger is really not all that unique i mean the jolly roger you can kind of see it down there um, it's, it's just, it's just a half skull with some teeth. I think the, uh, the grandioseness of just the Flying Dutchman kind of does it. Jolly Roger's kind of boring. Uh, the name of the crew is the Flying Pirates, which I, I get what you're doing because Flying Dutchman, but I think Dutchman Pirates would have been better or literally just the Flying Dutchman Pirates. You would have docked, I would have docked some points because it's the same name as the crew, but like, that's still spooky. Um... But just the flying pirates kind of makes you think that, like, they are they fly in the air, and this is, like, way at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, yeah. The fangs are all right, but, you know. Uh, the crew's theme. I don't think the crew really has a theme. Uh, they might have had a theme back when the original Vanderdecken was on it, but the current theme is just Vanderdecken and... Wadatsume and some other random fishmen are on the crew. There's really not much of a theme. Like, Vanderdecken could really go crazy with it. Vanderdecken could, like, go the Scooby-Doo route with it or, like, the Venture Brothers route with it. Like, it's like, I love being a ghost pirate again. Like, you could literally be ghost pirates. You could literally dress up like ghost pirates and be like, Whoa, Yarg, matey! I be the ghost of Vanderdecken! You know, you could I'll drag you down to Davy Jones's locker! Like, you could, like, Vanderdecken could literally be Ghost Pirate. He could, like, he has the pedigree. His his great, 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 whatever grandfather was the original Ghost Pirate. You could literally do that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'm conflicted on this one. Hold on. I got to look at all the stats here. Okay. All right. Let's try to figure this out. All right. Jolly Roger is pretty, pretty average. Name of the crew is confusing. The ship name is legendary. The ship design is is fine, very spooky, very very workable, and the crew themes is non-existent. Whereas they could have had stuff that they could have gone. So the only thing we're really going so really the the whole thing is based off of the pedigree of the fact that they're on the damn flying like the fact that they're sailing on the Flying Dutchman is their only saving grace here. Okay? I I think I'm going to put them at C. Like they're lucky. Like literally, it's the stair. It's it is the ghost ship of legend. All right. If it was just like if this wasn't, I'll tell you what. If this was not called the Flying Dutchman, if this was just generic ghost ship, this would be going into D right now. All right. If if, if it was just generic ghost ship and nothing else, might even be F. I honestly I don't know. Um, but I'm putting it at C. Literally, just based off of the merit of the name and the design of that ship and nothing else. Okay. And it's Vanderdecken, you're lucky to get that much. All right. So we have both of Foxy's crews here. Uh, I decided this would be funny to put both of them on. So here we are. Um, the name of Foxy's ship is the Sexy Foxy. I kind of like it. I got to be honest with you. Foxy sucks, but the name of the ship, it, it works. Ooh, so sexy. Oh, God not so sexy now i'm bringing sexy back do, 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 do. ready yeah okay here we go sexy foxy all right so we got luffy's version and we got foxy's version all right um so yeah it's the dutchman which is why it's going in c tier that's the only reason that's how high it gets because it's the dutchman f for foxy well, which Foxy? Because here's the thing. Here's the logic here. Like, Foxy's crew, I feel like you, you'd think that I would want to put Luffy's design at F and Foxy's at, like, whatever D. But I honestly kind of want to do this. <laughs> because I feel like the shitty Jolly Roger kind of fits their crew better, you know? 
Because they literally make a job of going around, challenging people to Davy backs, and then cheating at the Davy backs to get stronger crews. Like, fuck them, right? Like, seriously. Yeah. Screw them. You know, I, I think I think the actual Jolly Roger deserves an F. Cause what is it? It's just it's just a Jolly Roger that has a stupid nose and a and a pair of ears. You know? And then Luffy's at least has some character to it. <laughs> what does the fox say? Um, yeah, I will count the traps inside. That that ship is decked out like a damn saw movie. I, I will give it to you. The, the design of the ship works. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to shit on the design of the ship too much because the inside of the ship, it has a fox head. It has a fox tail. The sexy foxy, I think, is just a funny name. Um, oh, but the fox, yeah, they're called the foxy pirates, so deduct a point for that. Jolly Roger is boring. The Jolly Roger is just, it's foxy's nose. Now, it works for Buggy, I think, because Buggy's, like, Buggy's whole thing is he's a clown. So the fact that Buggy has a red nose on his Jolly Roger works great. Foxy is not a clown. I mean, he is, but he's not supposed to be. So putting the nose on there is just like whatever. Who cares? You put like a you put a pink nose on your whatever. I guess I guess because he's a fox, but like, eh. just put an actual fox then. Don't even bother with the skull in your stupid face. Just put the just take a like a draw a really badass fox and like or maybe a fox holding a sword or like a boxing fox because Foxy boxes. Oh yeah, that would have been so much cooler. That would have been so much cooler. Hold on a second here. Let me pull this up for a moment. Let me show you this. Um, where is it? Foxy. Do I not have Foxy? Oh, I do. It's right here. It's right here. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. How much cooler would this have been if it was an actual fox and then, like, two boxing gloves right next to it? Two red boxing gloves next to the Jolly Roger, next to the skull. That's a fox. Looks like a really intimidating fox, like a boxing fox. That, that would have been so much cooler. This is boring. This is like, whatever. You put some ears and a stupid nose on it. Okay, great. Fantastic. Yeah. No. No, thank you. The ship has a nice design. Yeah, the ship has a great design. Okay, so Jolly Roger, no. I'm going to say Jolly Rogers suck. Name of the crew. Minus a point for that. You just picked your name. Ship name. Sexy Foxy. That's fine. Ship design. Uh, looks cool. With the traps and everything added into it, I, I think it works. Crew theme. What was their theme? Their theme was like... You know, it's like they were trying to be like the clown or the carnival pirates, but they just like didn't really they didn't go 100% on it you know what i mean they kind of stopped halfway with the with the whole clown idea foxy pirates they they wore the masks that was their thing which by the way i include that in like the same category as like um the black cat pirates where the black cat pirates all wore the uh the cat ears the the only thing they had going is like they all wore the the same masks that was their thing they wore the masks Okay, guys, here's some cheap masks. Put them on. All right, there's your theme. Dumb masks. Not a circus. It's a carnival. So, th so okay. So, from what we've deduced with this, the Foxy crew are just, like, a shittier version of Buggy's crew is, is what we've deduced from this. It, actually, yes. The pirate captain has a shitty nose that looks worse than Buggy's. And then you got all of the, the masks instead of, like, going all bored with it, you know? Yeah. The fox is cunning. But were they super cunning, though? I don't know if they were super cunning here. Most of their cunning was just like, we're just going to overtly cheat because we're the ones that kind of make all the rules here and the referee is in our pocket. That's pretty much the fucking way they cheated. It's not super cunning you know, that they won, you know what I mean? The girl obsessed with Chab. Oh no, Porsche. Porsche. Yeah, she uh Hold on a second. Let me pull her up here. Yeah, Porsche was pretty hot. Yeah. But, you know, I'm not going to base the I'm not going to Oh, S tier. Porsche was hot. There there you go. Immediate S tier. <laughs> they had a hot girl on their crew. That was all.
They were cunning in like a Looney Tunes kind of way. Yeah, I just don't think it worked. I think I think Buggy's crew does better. You know? It really is like the Dollar Tree buggy. Yeah. I'm keeping it like that. I'm okay with that. I, I think Luffy's Jolly Roger was an improvement, if anything. All right. What's next? Oh, we got the, um, are these the new Giant Warrior Pirates or are these the Giant Warrior Pirates? These are the Giant Warrior Pirates. Right? Yeah, the new Giant Warrior Pirates are further down. Okay, so the Giant Warrior Pirates. So this is the one that's with Dory and Broggy. This is the ancient, not the ancient giants, but the old giant crew that Dory and Broggy led up. Uh, Oimo and Kashi were also on the crew, the ones that rampaged up and down the, the Grand Line. Can't get much more beast mode than that. Let me pull that up here. I just did a video about the, uh, about Dory and Broggy not long ago. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's what we're talking about right there. Red Ogre, Broggy, Blue Ogre, Dory. Go ba 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 Go ba 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 All right, so their Jolly Roger is really not all that crazy. It's it's pretty basic if we're being honest here. Their Jolly Roger is Ah, there it is. Okay. Their Jolly Roger is just a skull wearing a helmet. It's granted it's wearing like not an actual those weren't actual Viking helmets, but you know, looks it's a stereotypical it's like a cartoon Viking helmet. It you look at it and you can tell, like, that's a Viking helmet, all right? It's it's not historically accurate, but who cares? It's not supposed to be. It's just a design. It's just supposed to look cool. Um, they have two, like, they look on, like, they honestly look like scimitars. That is weird. Why are they scimitars? They're like, like, rapiers or scimitars. They should not be, they should be great swords. They should be great swords or axes or something. Dory and Bragi do not use scimitars. They do not use rapiers. That is not how vi how giants fight. That doesn't even... I never even noticed that before. That does not make sense. <laughs> um, that is that is weird. I don't know if I'm going to dock points for that. It's just weird that that's the sword on there. You know, because, like, look at the... Look at the fucking... This is how giants fight, dude. This is, this is the sword they use. Look at this. Look at this. It should have just been, like, a badass giant sword, like a claymore and a shield. That would be neat. Yeah. The Jolly Roger's not doing it for me. Gotta be honest. Name of the crew. Giant Warrior Pirates. Effective, quick, to the point, no bullshit. Ship name. What was Dorian Broggy's ship name? I don't remember. Let's look that up. That's a saber. Well, they don't use sabers either, so... It's not, it's not a weapon that I've seen any giant use in One Piece. The Great Eric. Eric. All right. So we see it in the flashback at Little Garden, so it's not... I mean, it looks like a Viking longship. But the thing is, like, unique in the One Piece world. Shanks uses something similar because he's tied to Elbaf. But beyond that, nobody else really uses the Viking longship design, you know what I mean? thing. Do the thing. Ripa, do the thing. Okay. The great Eric. There you go. So it's like, you know, it's it's fine. You know, it's it's a Viking longship. Um and, and you gotta be keep in mind these things are huge. Because you got like two pirate crews, two pirate captains that are both giants that are well over twenty meters tall. And then how many people on the crew? Probably like at least fifty giants between the both of them. These ships are huge. Yeah. It's like Leif Erikson. Yeah, that's it's, it's named after Leif Erikson, so that's going to get points for me because I love, you know, Norse history and all that. Um, and the theme is, like, the theme is just we're Vikings. We're giants and we're Vikings. So the theme is pretty easy to go with. Oh, yes. I will see you guys on the podcast tomorrow. I, I'm pretty sure I'll enjoy it. I'm going to be on One Piece with Lime tomorrow, everybody a podcast i will link all that stuff in my twitter tomorrow before i go on but uh join me and uh the hosts over there and talk some one piece 
Okay. We got to rank the giant warrior pirates here. Okay. Um, Jolly Roger's really not that crazy. Name of the crew is good. Ship name is good. Ship design is good. Sh crew theme is good. I feel like if this crew... Like, maybe I'll put the new Giant Warrior Pirates lower. Because they're, like, right now. But the Giant Warrior Pirates have that, like, legacy factor. Like, the legendary factor. Kind of, like, with the Flying Dutchman added into this a bit. So, I think I'm going to put them... I, I think if this, was, if this was a crew that was around right now. And there was no legendary factor there. I would put it at B. But considering they had that status for a hundred, also the fact like the hundred years and everything like that, where they are in lead, they are in, like literally the giants of legend. Um, I think I'm going to put it A. It's not C. The Jolly Roger's not great, but the name of the crew, the ship name, the ship design and the crew theme, that's all solid. And plus you got to add in the legendary factor there. which I think is included as part of their theme. Yeah, I think I'm... You know what? Honestly, I think I might just tackle that... Well, no, I'll, I'll, I'll tackle that later. But yeah, I think the new... When I do put the new Giant Warrior Pirates in there, it, it's going to be like B or C. It might even be at C. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I got to think about that when we get there. All right, what's next? Uh, ooh, Shiki. Shiki, the Golden Lion. All right, so this is a good one. I don't know if this will be S tier, but it might be close. All right, we got Shiki. All right, Jolly Roger, total fire, right? You got his skull. The skull looks a little different. You got the yellow hair, the lion, the lion mane, as it were. And you got the steering wheel, which has been embedded in his head. So he's taking something that... He's taking, like, a wound he got from Roger, and he's like... uh owning it. He's like, you know what? I'm not going to be ashamed of this wound. I'm putting it on my damn Jolly Roger, damn it. I'm just rolling with it. That's how Shiki rolls. Shiki! The Golden Lion Pirates. That is very cool. The Jolly Roger, very cool. Uh, They're called... Oh, you know, this is confusing. So the official English name for the Golden Lion Pirates which I'm not using because it's the English name, not the official. But the official name is the Flying Pirates. <laughs> but see, that makes sense. If they were the... I would, I would have still given them points if they were the Flying Pirates because they actually have the ability to fly, you know? But that's so funny that they're the Flying Pirates in English. Now, in the original, they're the Golden Lion Pirates, which I think is way cooler sounding because he's Sheiky, the Golden Lion. Yeah, that's so funny. Um, Shiki's ship is, it's just called the island. Oh, it's, so it doesn't, oh, it doesn't have a name. I don't think that's a name. It, it's just called the island ship. I don't think that's the name of it. I think that that's a description. That's not a name. That's just describing what it is. And even if that is its actual name, that is a shit name. You're going to lose some points on that one, Shiki. I'm sorry. Now, this is like Onigashima. Like, if Onigashima was this, if Kaido was rolling around the New World with a giant island ship that had a dragon on it, and it had, a, like, the Draco Meteor or something like that, that would have been a cool thing. That would have gained some points for Kaido right there. So, it's, it's a giant island ship that is a fortress... That has a lion figurehead. It's an island. It's a ship. And it has sails. And it has trees. But it doesn't have a name? Why would you not give it a name? Shiki doesn't need names. Oh, man. It's gonna, I'm going to have to dock a point for that one. I'm sorry. You just, you just have a pirate ship. You can't have a ship with... You can't have a ship with no name. Come on, man. Can't do that. That's not cool. That's not good for the ship either. That ship's gonna be that Klebautermon's gonna be so upset you did not give it a name. There's so many cool like, okay. Somebody give a cool name to Shiki's ship. 
I have one right now. Like, the, the Sky Dreadnought. It's not good, but it's something. Um, I don't know, Sorajima, even, is just Sky Island. Just calling the ship Sky Island would have been something. Uh, what else? Um, the cloud bringer, the, the cloud bringer, or what? I don't know, like, something! <laughs> something! The flying lion! There it is! The flying fucking lion! There you go! That's a perfect name for it. Flying lion. I wouldn't even have docked points because golden lion and flying lion, it's like, it, they're, they're different enough. They're different enough. Look at that. The sky pillar. The golden mane. The shiki ship. <laughs> the shiki ship. The shiki ship. Okay. The Mufasa. <laughs> The lion's mate. The rising sun. That is so cool. And the Jolly Roger even kind of looks like a sun. Dude. The, the, the golden dawn. The, the sky ship. The golden mane. The rising sun. The flying lion. Like, so many good names here. There are so many good names. The soaring lion. Sure. Yeah. I think you forgot to put the... No, they're in there. They're in B. They just have a different symbol than the rest, but they're on there. Man. So many good options there. I got to deduct a point on you there, Shiki. All right, now Shiki's crew. See, the thing is, a lot of this is non-canon, but it's it's kind of weird because Shiki's canon, but his the events of Strong World are not canon. So does that mean his crew is non-canon? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like, I feel like Oda's going to keep it simple. And uh, when we do see Shiki in the story, if he does have a pirate crew, I feel like Oda's going to keep it simple and use the crew from the movie. So like Indigo, like the clown dude, Scarlet, who's like the big monkey dude. I think that's the only people we know. He has, the, he has that animal army, the, the mutated animal army that looks cool. Um, God, there was a lot of, there was a lot of animals. So I feel, I feel like, yeah, I feel like Indigo is going to be canon. That's if Shiki has a crew. He might just be going solo right now. Shiki's Delivery Service. That wins. That wins the name of the ship. Shiki's Delivery Service. Shiki's Moving Castle. Oh, my God. The Dawnbringer. That's... God damn it. There's so many options there. I just realized I did not put Pedro's Nox Pirates on here. That sucks. I might include them for next time. I think the Nox pirates deserve to be on here because they were they started as an expeditionary crew, but they were pirates later. They had to become pirates. So I got to put the Nox pirates on here. Is there any other crew that I missed? Let me know if there's another crew I missed. I might put them on here. Um. So they don't really have much of a theme, and they don't have a name for their ship. But the Jolly Roger, the ship's design, and the name of the crew all work great. But Shiki, I am so sorry, man. I gotta put you in B tier, dude. You 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 were starting off strong, but like you dropped so many balls, dude. You dropped you didn't give your ship a name and you have no cohesive theme. Alright. So I gotta give you a B. I gotta drop you two spots there, buddy. I'm sorry. Okay. Next up. We have uh the new Fishman Pirates are on here. We have um Oh, Gyro's crew. I like Gyro. Gyro was cool um, because he had the crab arm, crab hand Gyro. We all remember crab hand Gyro, right? <laughs> right? Gyro? Okay. So Gyro was this dude. I might actually make a video about this guy. I really like this guy. I thought he looked cool. Gyro. Oh, God. Let me get rid of Shiki stuff here. I like Gyro, but I'm not gonna let my like I'm not gonna let my bias interpret that. Okay. So this is the dude. He was the guy he was attacked by Hody Um when uh they tried to leave Fishman Island. It, it kinda he was kinda just there to showcase how strong Hody was. Crab hand gyro. I like the fact he has a crab hand. I don't know why he has a clover grown out of his head. I couldn't really tell you. But uh yeah, that's him. So his Jolly Roger is just a crab. You can see it down there. It's just a crab. Uh, the Gyro Pirates, they're from the south. That's going to get a point, Doc, because put your name in the damn crew. Damn it, Gyro. Why? You couldn't have just had a name. 
couldn't have caught the crab arm pirates, the, the, the pincer pirates, the, the crabby pirates, anything. You could have done anything with it, man. You have a crab theme, and you're not even going to go with it. Your theme is a crab, and you're going to go with the gyro pirates. Come on, gyro. Come on, dude. Come on. The claw pirates. Something. Jesus. Cook the crab. Um, so, point doc for that. Name of the crew, and then ship name, unknown. <laughs> so we don't know their ship name. I think we saw their ship. Well, we do. Okay, we do have an image of their ship. Okay, the ship actually looks kind of dope. The ship actually has something going for it. All right, here's the ship. All right, the ship actually looks something cool. Okay, it has a crab on the ship. And the crab has its pincers out like this, like facing out in front of you like it's about to grab you. That might actually be practical whenever you're trying to... Like, they, they go to ram a ship, and the crab hams actually come down and, like, grab onto the ship, and then you dock. That actually might be practical. But it also doesn't have a name. So many, so many crab-themed names you could have given him. My fucking crab in Isekai... Not Isekai D&D. &D, One Piece D&D &D Marines has a damn name. Her name is Belle. Um, doesn't even deserve a name. So, okay. And the crew theme, they had no cohesive theme. Um, I, I, okay. Um, honestly. All right, so what, what, what do we got? What do they got going for them? They got a pretty okay Jolly Roger. And they got a pretty okay ship design. Point Doc because of the name of their crew. Point Doc because no name for their ship. And Point Doc for no cohesive theme. So that brings us down to C. But nah, I think D tier is fitting. I'm sorry, Gyro. I liked you too. You were a crab theme pirate. But I gotta go D tier on you here, man. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, I. Oh man, people want you, people really want me to put you in F. <laughs> I feel like the Jolly Roger saves them out of the F tier. The Jolly Roger is cool. It's it's different. It's different enough to be saved in D tier. All right. Yeah. Let's go with that. They're Jolly Rogers, all right. Okay. Two more pirate crews. Uh, we got the Hapo Navy, which is kind of hard to see in this. So let me... Um, I, I made a video on Psy. Let me see if I can pull that up. And uh, they probably have his shit in there. Psy's video. Is it Dawn Psy or just Psy? Yeah, it's Dawn Psy. Okay. Um, I might have to go get these off the wiki. I don't think I have them in here. No, I don't. All right, hold on. Pull that up here. The Hapo Navy. Oh, man, there is a... Uh, just trying to find their Jolly Roger. So they don't even really have... Hmm. Well, hold on. Let me get an image for their ship first. Their Jolly Roger's not even really, like... Like, look at this. Yeah. I know I keep doing that, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. So, the Hapo Navy is impressive because it's a navy. Um, but they don't really have a Jolly Roger so much as they just have the kanji for eight and treasure. That's all they have. Which is fine, but it's that's not a Jolly Roger, though. <laughs> that's kanji. That's not a Jolly Roger. That's just the kanji for eight and the kanji for treasure, which is Hapo, which I get it. It's the name of the Navy, but you don't have a Jolly Roger, dude. You just don't have one. I'm sorry. I'm drawing the line at that. Jolly Rogers are not letters or numbers or writing. You can have writing on it, although I don't think we've seen any Jolly Rogers with any writing on it up until now. No. We haven't seen every Jolly Roger is that's the whole point of a Jolly Roger. I, I feel like I should dock it two points for that. You don't have a Jolly Roger. 
How are you a pirate crew and you don't have a Jolly Roger? God damn. So anyway, the name of the crew, Hoppo, it's it's treasure. I get it. Okay, the name is fine. The ship name. I don't even know if the ship has a name. Let me check. Ship is uh the Hoppo Sai. The Hoppo Sai is the Oh, here it is. There's an anime version of it here. Is it going to load or do I have to adjust it? I feel like it's, I'm going to have to adjust it. No, see, this one loaded fine. Okay, so here's the updated version of it. Okay, look at that. So they don't have a Jolly Roger. That's boring. I mean, okay. I like the green on the ship. I like the tiger on the ship. The tiger looks cool. The green of the, of the ship looks cool. I like the sails being like, like panels, like planks. Like armor. It looks like armor. I don't know how practical that is on a sail, but it looks cool. Hapo Sai. The name is okay. If it's on a black flag, it's a Jolly Roger. This isn't even on a black flag, though. It's just the kanji for eight and treasure. That's all it is. Uh, yeah, the manga one looks fiercer, too. Hold on. Let me see if I can get to the bottom of this. I'm going to see if there's anything to go off of here. Hoppo, Navy, One Piece, Jolly Roger. Like, anything to go off of here? They don't have one. It's just that kanji. That's not a Jolly Roger. I'm sorry. It just isn't. You you missed the boat. Now, I don't blame Sai. And I don't blame Chin Zhao, really. Because Chin Zhao was the 12th member of the damn fleet. They had 11 other people. 11 other people that were the commanders of the Hapo Navy and did not think maybe as a pirate crew, because that's what they are. They are a pirate crew. They fought Garp and shit. They're a pirate crew. Maybe they didn't think... Well, maybe, you know, actually, no, it's funny. Maybe they didn't start out as a pirate crew. Maybe they started out as like a regular Navy for the Kano Kingdom, and they just turned into a pirate crew over the years. Maybe they didn't start out as one. And then they just kept that as just, like, tradition or whatever. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to dock some points for that. Jolly Roger design. Okay, not existent. Name of the crew is fine. Ship name is fine. Ship design is not the best, but it's okay. And the crew theme. Um, So, Kano Kingdom is based off of China. They have a lot of Chinese uh, architecture kind of thing. Uh, their emperor, kind of like the, the king of Kano, looks like a Chinese emperor. Um, but does the Hapo Navy really follow along with that? Oh, man, all the, the only members we literally know are Sai, Bu, and Qin Zhao, which did have a similar vibe to them. But Sai obviously is going to look like Qin Zhao. That's his grandson. And Bu is just kind of like Sai's best friend, I guess. I don't know. They didn't really, they didn't really, don't really dress like. Like, Chinese, like, soldiers. Like, you could dress like a terracotta army or something. That'd be cool. Then again, though, Boo and Sai were fighting at the Colosseum, so they weren't allowed to worry. They, they, they were only allowed, like, a certain weight limit, remember? Yeah. No, they're a pirate crew. They're definitely a pirate crew. Yeah, the Hapo Navy is a pirate crew. Xin Zhao is introduced as a pirate and head of the Hapo Navy soon after he attacked Garp. Okay, yeah, so he's a pirate. They fought with the Navy. They're pirates. Yeah. Yeah, the ship does... I mean, it has a Chinese aesthetic with the ship. It, it definitely does. Okay. It's unfortunate. I kind of want Sai to rank a little higher than this, but... I think C tier. Honestly, you don't have a Jolly Roger, man. I think C tier is the best he could really hope for here. Yeah. But um, I'm debating. C or D? Oh, Boo is his brother. Okay. You don't have a how do you are a pirate crew? It is listed as a pirate crew. It is. Xin Zhao was introduced as a pirate. He has a bounty as a pirate. 
He fought Garp as a pirate. They are pirates. You don't have a Jolly Roger, though. <sighs> you missed the Brownbeard Pirates. Okay, I'll add them next time, too. Yeah, that's why it always confuses me why they run Marie Joan. But whatever. You know what? I really want to put them in F tier. You do not have a pirate. I don't care. I don't care if you're the Navy for some island. You're a pirate crew. You have a fucking Jolly Roger. That's your points of a Jolly Roger. My God. <laughs> Brownbeard, Macro, Peachbeard. Uh, also the Candy Pirates. I mixed the Candy Pirates. I'll add a few. I'll add some. I'm sorry, Cy. Tell you what, Cy, you're the 13th commander of the uh, Hapo Navy. Make yourself a goddamn Jolly Roger. Make yourself one. If you have it. It could look so cool, too. All right, last one today. We're going to be looking... At the Hawkins Pirates. Hawkins. Bajul Hawkins. Oh, I had the Hoppo Navy sigil in there the whole time. But yeah, whatever. Anyway. All right, Hawkins. Um, I put him in green here. That's not what it looks like. It's just a black background. But I just put it in green because I thought it looked cool. All right, so... Um, deducted a point because of the name. But... Jolly Roger's dope. I mean, you got the cross, you got like that Celtic cross thing on the back, nails going into the scarecrow, and the scarecrow itself looks pretty, pretty, dev pretty scary. Um, I, I really like that. Um, or is it the Bajo Pirates? Either way, I'm pretty sure it's the Hawkins Pirates. It is. The Hawkins Pirates. Um, but I like the cross. I like the Scarecrow. I like the nails. It's simplistic. It's to the point. This is Devil Fruit ability. This is good. All right. Name of the crew. Hawkins Pirates. Minus a point. Ship name. They have a cool ship, if I remember correctly. The Grudge Dolph. The Grudge Dolph. It's Grudge. Because he's a voodoo kind of guy. Grudge Dolph. All right, so you got the Scarecrow, the Straw Man at the beginning, and you got the Straw Man's lining the sides of it. The whole boat kind of looks like it's made or weaved out of straw. That looks neat. Uh, oh, I guess they do have the green. Okay, yeah, they do have the green. They have a green sail background. Okay, then that is fitting. All right, yeah, that is a little different then. If that's what they're flying, uh, that's what they're flying. It's kind of pretty epic there. Um, okay. Name of the ship is good. Ship design looks all right. Looks, it looks pretty good, actually. I would say pretty good for the ship design. It's fitting for what Hawkins has going for him. And the crew theme, I think the crew theme works great because I think they're, they're, they are really dressed like a cult. Like I said, uh, Aruj's pirates look like a cult. These guys are dressed with a little bit more flair to them. They even have a mink on their crew. They have a mink named Faust, which I think is great. If I ever get a cat, I'm going to name the cat Faust. If I get a black cat, name this black cat Faust. I'm going to go buy a cat tonight just for that. No, I'm not going to do that. But, okay, look at their crew. All right, Hawkins' crew. So we got Hawkins, spooky, kind of scary man with the straw and, uh, like, fortune teller kind of guy. Then we got Faust, who's a mink. Then we got that dude with the weird... Pony t braided ponytail thing in the earrings. He looks scary. And uh, we got two guys that look just generic. One dude does have, like, a cloak with the skulls around it. That's pretty neat. Uh, their whole thing is the occult, by the way. Like, that's, like, a big thing there. And then a dude wearing, like, a cool tribal mask. Look, looks like looks like a Scooby-Doo tiki mask or something. Oh, I will scare you away from the, from the coal mine or whatever. I don't know. Um, they do be a crew. They do be a crew. I, I love it. The designs are neat. 
they're, they're not all uniform. They don't all have a uniform. Like, they're not wearing the same thing, but they all have a clear design of, like, the occult and kind of, like, demon possession kind of whole angle with that, you know? Next life, tarot readings, that kind of stuff. Um... I thought Hawkins would rank really lower than this. Honestly. Okay. Um, July Roger. Good. Name is not great. Ship name. Ship design crew theme. I mean, I think A. I, I, I really don't see anything beyond the name that really uh, takes it out of uh, S tier all that much. If they had a cooler name... This is really a, they they could just call it like the Faustian pirates. You know, or the Devil's the Devil's Luck Pirates or something like. I should put the Devil's Luck Pirates on this. I should do that for next time. I should have the Devil's Luck crew on there. Um Is Hawkins dead? I don't know actually. I think A is fair. Yeah. They had they could have had a really cool name. And it, like seriously, like their whole theme is the occult. You can't and like satanic and shit. You can't think of a badass name for their crew to be in that vein. That is you know, and like I said, Oda designed a lot of these guys just kind of like get them out there. So whatever. Um But I think I'm gonna lay it on A. The straw man pirates. That they just go around straw manning everybody. <laughs> That's that's their that's their go to logical fallacy. Hey Hawkins, uh, you know I think that you know you should. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of a good way to set up a straw man argument here. Say somebody comes up to Hawkins and just like, hey Hawkins, I don't think you should join Kaido's crew. Oh well, you might as well just say that I'm going to try to join Kaido's crew and nobody cares about me. It's like you're you're straw manning me, sir. It's just like you know, yeah. The voodoo pirates would even be better. Yeah, honestly. The sacrifice pirates would be better. Honestly. Yeah. The gloom pirates. That would have been fine. That would have been great. All right. Well, here we are. Uh, we did 28 crews. I don't know if, because, you know, there's a lot of crews that are like, I, I saw somebody say the A&O pirates, but that's like, I'm going to go through the pirate list again. If there's anyone that I feel like, is notable enough to put on here, I will, uh, for part two. So, uh, well, I'll, I'll go through that. But next time, we'll start with the Heart Pirates, with Law's crew. And we got a lot of the main characters coming up here in this next part. We got Shanks, we got the Straw Hats, we got Whitebeard, we got uh, Roger, we got uh, fucking, uh, we got Kid, we got uh, the Kuja. I mean, there's a lot of really good stuff coming up here next time. We got the Spade Pirates, we got the Sun Pirates. Uh, but yeah, this was a long stream, and I did miss some pirates, so we'll add them in. Uh, we're about three hours into this, so this is about a good place to stop, I think. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm really parched, and I want to go get some food, so I'm going to go do that. And the stream had a little bit of a rocky start, but we got there. The pentagram pirates. Dude, that would have been awesome. Pentagram pirates. Just have a cool pentagram behind uh, Hawkins' face on the Jolly Roger. The Sabo Pirates. I, I thought about putting Sabos on there. I, I didn't want to put Sabos on there. Please, we're all hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry too. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. This will be up as the VOD in a little while, uh, so you can watch it there. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you later next time. I don't know when I'm going to do part two of this, but we have a break for five weeks, so we have time. I will get this done before the thing resumes. All right, well, that's that.